You gonna hit something or not? Huh? What use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets? But I'm just... practicing. Say, why a hammer? Uh... This looks more your style. Huh. Totally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, silly. She beat five eight-termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice one, Mimi! That was awesome! Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Miyabi? Oh, Miyabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Mmm, sure. I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No! I'm ready if you are. Huh? I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true, <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> hey, Senna. There's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no, that's not... Senna. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Uh... I think that should be far enough. Did I do good out there? Hmm? What was that? Huh? What's that? <laughs> did, did I say something? Uh, I mean, you just said something about doing good or whatever. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Must have just slipped out. <laughs> You seem so... lonely. Huh? At training, in camp, at night. She's always got friends right by her. But why does it seem like... she's all alone? How 
come. So that's the way you see me, huh? A loner? Senna. I was hoping more plucky heroine girl or one-track musclehead. That's more what I kind of shoot for. Now look. Oh, no, you don't. I think you're just being nosy. Senna, please. I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. But aren't you a ginormous sparker? Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. What's wrong? Mio? I hear... A strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Those Levnesses, they're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... Numbers. Sworn enemies of Mobius. What? There are others standing against Mobius. The name's Monica. Monica Vanden. The man who entrusted Ouroboros to you. I'm his daughter. Daughter? You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't you? How do you...? That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, all right. Oh. 
Stay close. So, Guernica, that's... that wrinkly guy. Back then. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? We'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros' blood. Just what are you? Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> We're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Come on! Entrance is up ahead. This is the... city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes... They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. Ouroboros. Ouroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevis. And Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. They could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey! Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Manana spy tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose them. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. 
What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. You, um... You said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why... why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I'd been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. It kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Aren't those... Cradles. Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, 
The price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? It's so small. It's a little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it move. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, gently now. Senna. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. All right then, lads and lasses. Who wants to know how babies are made? Hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up!
This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. Or it might be that you already do. Looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others. They don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the queens, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. 
think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real queens. Yes, real queens. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Mm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious.
N, you say? You know him? I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Oh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Oh, I got some news earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night. Night. Okay, then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are... Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected, high into the sky. That's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month? Mio. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. 
Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you-know-what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius Eye thing. Oh, bad. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. Long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Cavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well, that's how we do things. But still... I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. But kind doesn't win wars. There's a Nopon called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him.
Job well done. Salmon pull all nighter to install. Expect to be ship shaped by tomorrow morning. That soon? Salmon never flounder. Always get job done. Thank you so much. Thank you, not necessary. Salmon is fixer upper by trade. What's that? Ah. This is Ultimate Vessel. Ultimate Vessel? That right. Even Vortex in Raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress, but sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Wow. Done. Wow! Amazing! Okay, I'll bag you the next one. I even brought the materials and stuff. Make me something mega cool, yeah? Sure. What kind of blade do you want? Sword? Gun? Fists. Okie dokie. Hey. Hmm? If we didn't have to fight each other, you think that could have been Yorin? Euron, did you ditch training again just to work on this stuff? Did not. I'm not skiving. I just had a bad headache. I gave notice too. Excuse me? No one did that for you, right? 
Yeah, I'm used to doing it. Okay, it's done. Hold on. Is that... <laughs> Who's that? Lance? This one's Uni, and this is Noah. Hey! That looks just like me. Good job, matey. Huh? I love it, Euron. Uh, yeah? Yeah. We don't have your talent. All we can do is slash and shoot each other. But you create things. <laughs> hey, so who's this? We know someone like that. Looks like a real tough fella. Um, that's... Uh, it's me. What? what? This is you. It looks nothing like you. Mm -mm. Yeah, but, like, that's what I want to end up like someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? It's not silly. I believe in you. I've seen exactly what you can do. You think he's got what it takes? You're talking out your bum. No, I'm not. He can do it. Right, Jorn? Uh, uh, I'll try then. I'll try really hard. He looked up to me, man. Smiling. Sometimes it's hard to judge, huh? What we're supposed to be protecting. It all gets a bit blurry. Yeah. Even so, his smile was the real thing. We should cherish that. Next time we'll think twice about who really needs punching. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. So you saw it? Huh? Your husk. Your own lifeless husk. You've come across it. How did you...? Your eyes. You looked like you were gazing into your own past. That's crazy. Live long enough and you learn how to figure out stuff like that. Oh, it hasn't been as long as you think. Folk do tell me I'm pretty sharp. Huh. Now all. How come you don't wake these guys up? Can you use the help? Or is it because they'd just be Mobius fodder? They can't be fodder. If we wake them up here, they'll be freed from the shackles of the flame clock. So why then? Because this is our fight. We don't know how long it'll take. And their lives are short. So you don't want to get them mixed up in everything? <laughs> That's one reason. And the other? People need to learn who they really are. What they have to leave behind for posterity. I want them to wake up in a world that affords them that chance. How do we discover who we really are? That from the husk. Yeah. You won't find yourself there. Huh? You've got to look to the present and the future only. 
The one in the past, it isn't you. You didn't make that, and it's not yours. Make that? But, look to the future, and you can build yourself up however you like. You can become whoever you want to be. I can? You've got the power to do so. Be true to yourself. Thank you. That's... Well, that's what my dad always said. Your dad? Mm. But it goes for you, too. True to myself. We'll see. Did you seriously just burn your tongue again? Uh, <laughs> ah, you saw that. Well, your soup is one of the highlights of my day. Really? Whoa, thanks. I'm flattered. It was just the truth. <laughs> Want some to taste test? For real? Oh, good thing I got off early. You enjoy cooking? Oh, it's been drilled into me. It's a ritual now. Can't really start the day without making a pot. I get you. Two months, huh? Since that battle. Yeah. You're tough. No joke. Eh? We heard from uni that you're just like us. Oh, that part. I've been plodding along. Playing it all cool, but when we saw him again, I thought... Nah, snuff all of this. I'm scared too, just so you know. Since Monica told us the whole truth, I've hoped... No. I'm sure I'll see Miyabi again. I'm so sure of it. Hard, wasn't it? Hearing that. Yeah. It sure beats ignorance. That's what Noah thinks, too. You're hard as nails. What we don't know might as well not exist. It's an obvious way to think, but it isn't right. Closing my eyes doesn't mean evil disappears. And so, you go on? Yeah, I'll keep going. While my flame still flickers to the bitter end. With all of you. You said it.
Gorgeous. I can hardly believe my eyes. Is this real? We don't wage many battles at sea, so... ...makes sense the seas would be relatively untouched. Aha! Uh -huh. When people do die at sea, it's usually due to their Pharaonis sinking. They drown. It's hard to draw out their life with a blade. Putting it that way, I guess it's kind of obvious, huh? A little ironic that that's why it still looks so pristine. The other half of my reason. Oh, are we talking about that now? About why I'm here, yes. Right? I told you there was a second half. Hmm? It's you, Mio. Me? What do you... You want to leave an impression on all of us and the world. Don't you? <sighs> I can only hazard a guess at what you'd want it to be. And even then, I'm not confident I'd guess right. But let me just say this. You've only got a little over a month left. We can't change that fact. It doesn't give you much time to leave your mark. <sighs> if there were anything I could do to give you time. If it were in my power, I would. Not just me. Senna, too. And Noah. We all think that way. Mio? Sparks! You're making me tear up here, man. Oh, sorry. That wasn't my intention. No, thank you. Nimue's doing. Huh? You were even being nice to uni. Stuff like that. Oh. Oh, really? I'd never even thought about it. Let's give thanks, if we ever see one of those trees of hers. A Sophronia? Right. I think that's a great idea.
So, Ouroboros does training as well, huh? You're... uh... Shania. Shania Reed. About your rescue mission, Gondor and I are friends from the crib. I don't know that word, crib. Does it mean you've known each other for a while? I guess you don't use that expression, huh? Why even use words? Feels like we're just talking at cross purposes. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> know what? Forget it. Well? Gonna answer my question? You mean about training? Yeah. That's the thing. Mimi and the others are doing their best. I need to as well. Anything to help me get an edge. So... Ah. Mimi, is it? That's what you call her. The one with the long ears. Yeah. We've always been in the same colony. Your friends. That might be saying a lot. She's kind of like my role model. She's strong, kind, mega dependable. You're... Senna, right? Huh? Oh, it's... You are... I'm Mio, third term. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, I'm sorry. Your name totally slipped my mind. But I, I don't think we've talked before. Uh, um, you know, I was just looking for a training partner. For the trial? I like to think I'm pretty quick on my feet, but I'm not really strong enough. Our captain said you would make a good addition and that you're super strong. <laughs> He's exaggerating. I'm totally average, totally. Wanna try? Team it up? With you? You sure? I'm a nobody. Sure, I'm sure. I'm literally asking you right now. It's your choice. Well, if you really don't mind, sure. Really? Golden? We're a team, then. Mm, thank you. Role model. <laughs> She's the one who's kept me going. I wouldn't be here otherwise. And after meeting you guys, now I understand what life's really all about. A part of nature's cycle. I'd never even thought about it before, but it's pretty amazing, huh? How is it natural? Huh? Why should we swing our blades around without a hope of winning? Better to die and be born again inside their cycle. <sighs> Just pulling your leg. Caught you off guard? <laughs> well, yeah, you kinda did. <laughs> How'd you expect me to react to that? <laughs> hey. Do you always work so hard for approval? That fun? Huh? You can tell? That's right. Because we're just the same. Come on now, be true to yourself.
Hey, uh, Mimi? What's up? Speak to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, it's a uh, lovely weather we're having. I don't know I'd say lovely. A bit overcast. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Silly clouds. Guess I had my head in them. <laughs> huh? Huh. What was that about? It's massive. That's the Agnian Castle. And it's floating. Seen it before, Mia? Nope. First time for me, too. I like you guys. We never got any special training. Uh, if our intel's right, we ought to find a cave if we circle along anti-clockwise. Is that the one that then leads to the ventilation ducts in the camp? Yeah, that's right. Quickly. We need to get in before it gets light. Work with me. Here we go. <sighs> You snuffing reprobates! Beautiful morning today. If only I could appreciate it. Didn't get much sleep. Do you know why? Because the eclipse draws ever nearer. How many of you are getting made an example of and hopes rest this time? I can hardly contain myself thinking about it. Couldn't catch a wink of sleep last night. Me? Nutty snuffer. He's really enjoying this. Yet, nonetheless, the show must go on in order to unite our hearts and minds to keep the world in balance and perfect harmony. This will be your final resting place. So why not live a little while you still have some body to enjoy it with? <laughs> I'll give him something to enjoy. What term is he even? It's not like he'll have that much longer than them to live. Ah, oh, 
Bollocks. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I hate people like that. here for Gondor is that Gondor I asked you a question give me an answer fresh fish huh huh cut the crap any lights on in there you dead brain hold on is Gondor a... is Gondor a what finish your damn sentence what? My name? You got a problem with it? So she's Gondor. Bitch queen. She must have thought she was being funny. <laughs> oh! Oh! So you agree, do you? No, no, I, it wasn't... I didn't mean... Ah! Go die in a ditch, you turd. Yikes. Never thought I'd hear someone tap Uni's sweary mouth. Don't you go copying her, Senna. Nah, not my style. Oh, wow. Ways to talk trash about one of your friends. So, where was I? Think it was about why they're here. Oh, right. That. So, what's the idea, sweetheart? Now she's playing nice? You're Gondor. What's it to you? Monica from the city. She told us about you. She said you'd know where the queens are. So you are the bitch queen's lapdogs? Please tell us what you know. We have good reason to meet with them. To bring peace. And to set the world to rights. This shit again? What? I'm fed up with hearing that sanctimonious odd and crap. So you aren't gonna help us out then? If you're trying to kill the now, then you can just forget it. Um, kill the now? Did I bloody stutter? Oh, you just don't get it. Maybe this'll hammer it home. Eggy, oggy. Mom? At your command. Give this thought a bruise in and dump him in the trash. Mom, my pleasure. than you think, Noah. Yeah, no jokes. Of course she does. She's a pro. That's Monica's daughter for you. Huh? Daughter? You mean that she was born from Monica? Like that baby we saw? That's about the size of it. Plus, the head Ouroboros candidate. <laughs> that too? 
You don't say. It all adds up now. Oi! What are you prattling on about? You got something to say? Say it to my face. We do. Go on, then. Why are we fighting each other? It's so pointless. Piss off. No, it's not. Why? Because you dads haven't figured it out. About killing the now? Yeah. Then stop holding out and just tell us. Set the world to rights, you said. Yeah, I did. Not sure if you're just being self-righteous, but take a look around. Think about how many lives it's cost. Running after that shit already. <sighs> all right, that's enough. On your knees now, all of you. Hands behind your head. Disobey me, you'll get time in solitary. Change of plan. Sheathe your blades now. Let's just do as he says, okay? I'll tell you what we should all do. Not one frigging thing. We do nothing. If we just stay put here and the city folk keep a low profile, no one has to die for small nuts. So that's your now. Penny finally drops. Aren't they going to execute you next month? So? It'll be ten people if that. They've got over a thousand locked up in here. It'll barely register. So? Lives aren't statistics. I'm saying if you stir shit like what Bitch Queen wants, you'll have a thousand lives on your conscience. <sighs> and also, you're gonna set the world to rights? Then what's that there on your arms, on your chests? And then there's the kitten. Little more than a month left. <sighs> you must be the most eager of the lot. That's enough. Huh. Just shut up about the world already. All this holier-than-thou crap. You're only doing it for yourselves. <sighs> you just fight out of self-pity. Flailing around thinking you can make a difference. <clears throat> when I see off lives, I do it with purpose. Mia. Just one more day. One more minute! You've no idea how many lives we've sent. All the friends we had, wishing they'd had more time. That was each and every day for us. But it was all we could do. It was all we had to believe in. Day in, day out. You are... an officer? And when we finally made it to the city, I realized there was a whole different world out there. They're so lucky. I really thought that. I was astounded. Just by extending our years, life could be so different. 
I even saw the beginning of a new life. That tiny little hand that was grasping mine. I can understand why you want to protect that. If that's the now you speak of, we'd never kill that. Still, that's why we're trying to protect it for you. To save our friends. To build a future that would make us free. You've got about a month. That enough? For that? I don't know. My time might be up before our fight is truly over. There's probably not that much I can do. Mia. But I've got to try. I'll keep trying while my flame still flickers. And after that, Yeah, we gotcha. We'll carry on your will. Right, Noah? Of course. I don't really want to imagine that. But there's just no running away from it. All we can do is move forward. We have to. That day, Guernica entrusted us with this power. And because of that, we made friends with former enemies. Believe us, your now is safe with us, as is the future. So, that's your argument? Oh. What's this? For the Cloud Keep, where the real Queen of Agnes is taking her beauty sleep. You'll need that to get in. Kinda like a key. <gasps> this thing took a liking to... Uh, names? Noah. Mio. Noah and Mio. I'll remember that. Hmm, anyways. The doodad reacted to you two when you teamed up. I think it was probably like telling me to give it to you. Thank you. You're helping us now? Still hate the fact that Bitch Queen sent you. But hey, the worst name did pick you, so. And I did promise. Promise? In three days, Agnes will be holding a large scale training exercise on Daedal Isle. Of course, that means minimal security for us. That'll be our chance to escape. How, then? <laughs> well, the only way I know how. Am I right, you dads? Yeah! I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, the proverbial's gonna hit the fan. Them's the brakes. Take it or leave it. All right. In three days. Just do some prison things until then. Oh, uh, just try to keep in line, would ya? We don't want to draw attention. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, and a quick word of advice. When all is lost, let him hear you roar. Got that? Hear us roar? All that power you wield, that's exactly what it was meant for. I'm envious. Of what? You, Mimi, Noah. You're all so incredibly confident. Who's confident? It's all a big act. 
I don't know about Noah and Mio. But me, though? I'm pathetic. Huh? I'm just acting tough. To pump myself up like I'm not a wimp. You think you're... a wimp? Yeah. I'm a lot... like you. Huh? But look, what's wrong with that anyway? If we're weak, there's room to grow. Right? <sighs> Remember the first time you became Ouroboros? You yelled, Lance, come with me! Huh? Hmm. You reached out for the strength you needed. Oh. Our friend Yorin. He became Mobius. But that... That wasn't him. That's his life's purpose? Like Spark it is. So I think... Maybe I want to figure out the purpose of my own life. I want to get stronger. And if Yorin surpassed me, I'll get even stronger than that. Oh, wow. I won't be doing it for the recognition, nor to be liked. I'll do it for myself. Even if people don't recognize it, right? We're here. This is us. Let's keep being true to ourselves. What's wrong with that? Same old... plans. Same old... Senna. Never stop being you, okay? Recognizing your own purpose. Huh. You mind if I... pinch that mindset? What you talking about? Friends don't need to ask. Huh? Huh? Is to us the mighty weaklings. Yeah.
We make our move at 0800, right after outdoor duty start. My men will cause a commotion outside, draw out the guards and jailers. The guards will be armed, so you dags will need to deal with them. Use the element of surprise. And the jailers? They're small fry. I'll take care of them. All right. How many guards? About 30. Take out 20 or so and we'll be sitting pretty. Then we break straight through the west gate. We'll have you lot covered, so just run for it. And how do we break through it? It's not like it's made of tissue. Surely you lot can handle a gate. Why else would the bitch queen even send you? Why do you keep calling Monica that? She's your mother. I'll call her whatever the hell I like. Anyways, you all got the gist of the plan now. You call that a plan? There's nothing to get. We don't even have any contingency measures, do we? I bet you're fun at parties, arsehat. I'd prefer level-headed, thank you. Anyhow, we'll gather in front of Watchtower 1. After breaching the gate, thin out. You run and you don't look back. Clear? Okay. We'll do that. Good. You're dismissed. Gondor? Hmm? Please, just... just be careful. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? You look like you'd make short work of that gate. Huh? Me? That wallop of yours on the first day. One hell of a hit. You sure give them a run for their money. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Looks like someone's ready to go. Shania! Well, look what the hawks tracked in. Nice to see you too, Gondor. I've been here the whole time. You didn't notice? Oh, I'm sorry. Want a medal? <laughs> Arrogant as ever. Anyway, think you're ready for this? Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, touchy. Just don't screw this up. You and Shania were friends from the crib, was that it? Yeah, since we were kids. I didn't realize. Chick didn't know when to stop following me around. Had it up to my ears with her. Heard you bombed the selection test, and not for the first time. Yeah. <gasps> I couldn't win in the last round. Why'd you use the Cestus? You can barely throw a punch, makes no sense. Because I thought if I used your weapon, I could capture a bit of the Goddor spirit. You know that name pisses me off. And more excuses, eh? Stop copying me. You're even wearing my gloves now. Right, enough is enough. <sighs> Nothing to say for yourself. Oh, hang on, Elevness. Don't you have any originality? It's no wonder you lost. No wonder you never get picked. I have my style. She has hers. Why doesn't she get the message? I'm so sick of it. Hey, now. Confident. Are we okay? Everything's going to plan. Everything's fine. Everything.
That's us. Okay, guys. Take out the guards. Ah, yes. The illustrious plan. You're still whinging about that. Yes, I am. It's all so messy. You would say that. Hey, if it gets the job done, what's the problem? Assuming it works. It will. We're gonna make it work. Come on. Whatever you say. doing their bloody training. An ambush! Gondor! This ain't an accident. Means one of you bastards snitched. will result in one of the best outcomes one could have hoped for. I don't see how. Of course, it's quite unfavorable for your little band of heroes. You're throwing the levs at us? Bring it. Been wanting to smash something up? <sighs> Not so fast, boy. <sighs> your luck well and truly came to an end. <gasps> On the day you chose to stand against M and N. <gasps> Noah and... 
Mio? But how? Those Mobius were Noah and Mio. What's going on? How is this? Who is this guy? It's not just that he looks like me, but uh, he's Mobius. And then there's... We have the same face. <laughs> Shania. Now there's the look I wanted to see. The look of a woman buried under the weight of her misguided expectations. How could you, Shania? Why are you siding with them? You're with the city. The people here, they're your people. My people? These pawns? <laughs> people that rush towards an early grave without any consideration for the lives of others are no bloody kin of mine. Hey, so This what you want? Oh, you've had it easy, my friend. The great Guernicker was your granddad and your mediocre mother, the city elder. Oh, and let's not forget your Stella Ouroboros results. <laughs> of course you would have to ask that. You never did care about what I wanted. <sighs> We're not the same at all. Sorry? You said... You said that we were the same, but we're nothing like each other. <sighs> you sure changed your tune. I'm seeing some newfound determination. You get a little pep talk from your friends, huh? Nobody gave me anything. It's because I'm part of the team. I'm only just starting to figure it out now. But I'm gonna change. Both me and this world. I won't let you. I'll never let that happen. If you stop us, everything's just going to stay the same. It won't stay the same. Shania! What's so natural about the life you want? A life you only get one shot at. At any point, someone could come along and tell you, okay, that's it, time to go. And who are you to say that life's worse? I know more than you. It's madness wanting a world like that. <sighs> The best world for us is a world that at least gives us another go. We fail. We try again. We might even do better next time round. Shania, enough now. We're made to fight, to kill each other, every single day, just hoping to see another dawn. Either way. We're still fighting for survival, aren't we? <sighs> Am I crazy? Am I saying something strange? Because I don't think so. I genuinely don't. <sighs> 20 on the right. 20 on the left. 10 in the middle. The Mobius, too. Julia Bay? It's that way. Gondo. Uh, what? What are you? Head for the exfiltration point. Noah, wait. It's us they want to capture. I'm going to engage the Levnesses on the left hand side. You can use that as a diversion. Shut the hell up. We'll make the diversion. You're too slow. <gasps> Can't all make it out. However, a single unit should stand a chance. What are you guys gonna do? We fight, and worst case, we surrender. Let them hear us roar. Remember? N now, hold on! Now's the time. Ouroboros doesn't end with us. Right, candidate? Noah. Damn you! You'll do great. I know it.
All right. We're breaking through. Distract them however you can. Gotcha! Your chance! Move it! Gondor! <gasps> Mom, we'll handle this. Get through here and you're free. Quick! What? Yes, yeah, screw that! Now I'm supposed to leave you behind as well? The Ouroboros candidates are our future. Come now. You must move. But why? <laughs> it's the prison food. Gone and developed a taste for it. And the beds are actually halfway decent. It's fine. Don't you worry about us. This isn't over. You'll see soon enough. Doubt we'll have such an easy time with these. Yeah, but we helped Gondor escape. Right. And that was priority number one. But, but, other people all got left behind. This not huge mess. They'll be fine. Unlike us fugitives, they're useful assets. They can still surrender and be put to work again. Still, the more that can escape, the better. So... One last stand? Oh, yeah! Bring it! <laughs> Such nonsense. Your idiocy knows no bounds. What's so funny? This suits me just fine. You will make an adequate feast. Mobius will savor every one of you. Rest assured. Talking about us like we're food? Well, sorry, mate, but we fight back! Right. You'll be going hungry today. We fought so hard for this. We're not giving it up. Not ever! Oh, you still intend to resist against these odds? Yeah. You think you can defeat me? We will. For us to move forward, we must. Very well. I will demonstrate beyond all doubt. There is no possible future for you in this world. Let me handle this. You want to? That's a surprise. I need to show them. Make them realize just how powerless they truly are. Just as we were once persuaded. Who are they? All right. Do as you will. Thank you, Ben.
I need to know. Go on. Why? Why do you look exactly like we do? Who are you people? Well now, if, if you can defeat us in combat, you'll see for yourselves the truth, why it is we stoke the flames of war. I don't know that I can bear to hurt her. I can. She's Mobius. We have to win. Even if she does look like Mio. So then. Gloves off. her power. Congratulations. You figured it out quickly. Of course. In every fight we've had, you've always used some special power against us. Exactly. I have the power to override your pitiful consciousness. She's using us like bloody puppets! Uh, so that's her game. Once I've taken over your mind, you are absolutely helpless. A blind passenger. you putting up a strong front what are you doing huh? it's futile Simply closing, closing your, your eyes is, is not, not enough, enough to, to escape, escape my power. <sighs> Just had another brilliant idea. Oh? oh? The whole time you're hijacking our bodies, you ain't moving. Mm hmm? Which means we've just got to go after you instead! <laughs> ah! Yuli! What the. I was over here. What? Uh. Sorry, Tyon. I need you to stop now. No, no it's me. Tyon! I lied. lied. Well, Spock. This isn't going very bloody well, is it? She's got Mimi! Come. Cut, Cut me her down. down. What? It's an easy win. You need only take her My life. <laughs> you see the irony? Funny how you've slain so many. To extend your own short lifespans. Yet your friends' lives now chain you down. Dulling your blade's edges. You can't do it, can you? 
pathetic. Then your death will be slow and painful. Your dear friend here shall slice you to pieces until you perish. don't know when she'll take over, or whose body she'll hijack. Despite that, by the time we detect her attack, it's already... Detect? That's it! Detection! Tyon, what are you... The Mobius. Is you! Sorry, Noah. Tyon, what? Our attacks. They seem to affect her real body as well. Was she controlling me? Indeed, but now I know her secret. Listen up. My Mondo will mark the target for you. Oh, yeah? Yes. The only option right now is for us to attack. Trust me, I can guarantee that it will deal damage to her. I hear you. Uni! Yeah? Your uni, right? Better believe it. Can't you tell by my smile? Good then. We'll need you to heal us up after we take damage. Stay strong. Yeah, I got ya. Healing's on me. Let's go! enough. Get back. As you say. Now it's Noah we're dealing with. That's not me! I know that! Just saying! You know, this is getting ridiculous. I don't get any of this nonsense! Em's only stepping back. She could still use her powers. Just keep an eye on how the Mondo act. Yeah, will do! A Mobius with my face? Is it something to do with how Mobius and Ouroboros have fought over the ages? Need to stay focused. One little mistake, and it's over.
Boris and Mobius both manifest outwards from their core. So long as the core is intact, you can slice off as many limbs as you like. They will keep growing back, yet at the cost of vast energy consumption. Of course, this cuts down the time you can stay in that form. You're at your limit. Beyond your ken. Reality, you say? Neo! Ah! Oh! Neo! You okay? Neo! I. I live. Mimi. Lance. Hmm? Sorry. Could I ask for some help here? Yeah. No problem. This is the time, huh? For us to really shine. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Fire and spark! Quick hit with the bleeping! Lance! Senna! Cancel the interlink! You're at your limit! Oh, believe us! We, we knew, knew that, that from the start! Got you now! Scum! Lance! Sorry. Sorry. This, this sort of stuff. stuff. It's about all I'm good for, really. What are you talking about? What are you going to... Santa! Mimi, remember, remember what, what you, you said? said? You always told me to never stop being myself. I finally get it. What you meant by that. This is me. So don't give up yet. This will buy you some extra time. Use it. Stop this! I don't want any of your time! Just come back! Senna! We're too close. 
Take us out of here! Okay! <laughs> Thank you, Mimi. <gasps> oh, too bad. You were so close. What are you doing? Hey, I just saved your life. Could I get just a little gratitude here? Zed's orders. Pretty much. <laughs> Is it? The interlink. So this is her doing. Lands! Senna! Are you okay? Spark's sake! Senna. Sorry, Mimi. I couldn't pull it off. It's okay. Forget about that. Well now, I apologize for that little disturbance. It won't happen again. <gasps> You'll notice your powers have now been fully sealed. Give it up. Your chances of victory are nil. <laughs> they would escape. Sadly, things didn't quite pan out your way, did they? Because you cut him down! <sighs> Sorry, Noah. Guess we were dead weight after all. Did I not tell you? There's no hope. Now witness the result. What? I just thought of the most wonderful little amusement.
just a metal grate. Why can't I break it? Call it, Noah. They've stripped us of our powers. There's no way for us to break it. Just give it a rest. How can I give it a rest? We have to get through. We have to get Mio out. <sighs> Surprisingly well behaved. I half expected you to have blown a hole in the wall by this point. <laughs> or what? Have you resigned yourself wholly to your plight? Knowing the extent of my power, did you come to gloat? Where's Mio? The girl, you'll find, is in the cell beside you. Huh? Call out her name, why don't you? Your voice at least should reach. <laughs> Oh, I see. You still cling to a sliver of hope. You recall, I wanted to stage a little sideshow. You expecting applause? It's the homecoming. Huh? <laughs> I'm glad you catch on quick. With the eclipse, one month from now, the girl will meet her long-awaited end. Why don't we honor it at the castle? Make it a day to remember. Well, does that not please you? What a magnificent sideshow it will be! <laughs> oh yes. I almost forgot to tell you something. You are now aware of the cycle of rebirth, yes? <sighs> there is an exception. <sighs> Those whose flame is snuffed out during a homecoming will not return. You must! <laughs> Amusingly so. Right now, all of you put together don't have the strength of a single soldier. Not even these flimsy iron bars yield to your efforts. Try all you like, but you cannot escape. No amount of toil will help you there. <gasps> You feel the anguish, crippling despair. That is the hubris of fools who cling blindly to their hopes, only to find them dashed on the rocks. Of dreamers crushed under the sheer weight of reality. Of abject failures. Come on! Come on! Come on! That's enough! You're just gonna break your hands. I don't care! I'll shatter every bone in my body! If that's what it takes! Just stop! Please! Leo! Are, are you okay? Don't worry about me. I'm totally fine. I've made my peace. Even if I can never leave here, I'm content. I'll live on in others. Knowing that is enough for me. Please, don't worry.
Hey, why do you think it is that they look like Noah and Mia? Like I know. Why aren't you asking yourself? When we kick the bucket, we're reborn in those cradles, right? Maybe it's somehow connected to that. You think they're the same people? Is that even possible? Strange. Regardless, why would they do this? What possible purpose could all this serve? It's almost like they're toying with us just for kicks. You know, they've all been like that. When they took away lives, it was like they were enjoying it. That's really true? Uh-huh. Hmm? Oh. Huh? Huh? It seemed natural to laugh when happy. And yet, N had sadness in eyes, it seemed. Huh. Like Sparky did. He's Mobius, our sworn enemy. We really are hopeless. Can't believe we're stuck in here behind these snuffing bars. It wouldn't be much of a prison if they didn't perform that function. Come on. <laughs> Was there even any point in all this? In everything we've done? Of course there was. Huh? At least we gave them hope. <gasps> At first, even when Guernica said he was six times older. It didn't click. Past ten years was pure greed, I thought. But now, I'm scraping for whatever I can get. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, the beach queen herself. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think I'm going? You know I can't allow this. Excuse me? That's a direct order. Don't be stupid. Whatever. Up yours. Look, the castle is on maximum alert now. Are you in that much of a hurry to get back behind bars? This ain't like the time we ambushed Kevez, when we had the element of surprise. After all they did for me, I can't just leave them. We don't have time for this. And I'm telling you, it's suicide. <gasps> Noah entrusted everything to us. Hope. The future. Get that through your skull. <sighs> you!
Shania. What are you doing here? Got a little update for you. This will be good. The day your friend departs this world. What did you call it? Homecoming? That's the day. I've decided to have myself killed too. Shania, your iris. Yep. This right here is proof that I've joined their ranks. And your little friend will vanish from this world forever. But I will be born once again. Just the way I should be! <sighs> Just the reaction I was hoping for. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I hope I can make that face too when I meet my enemies on the battlefield. Piss off, I saw. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be gone soon. Pretty much as soon as your friend will. <laughs> it was so obvious looking back. I knew that something was off about her. I knew deep down. I just... I didn't want to believe that we were the same. You're not the same. Is that Mimi? I was watching you. Trying so hard. You've saved us so many times. Never given up. You helped us get here. Sometimes, you can be really hard on yourself. I think... That's why you've always been so hungry. Always striving for more. Yeah. Come now. I know you've touched so many lives. I think we've all seen that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I see it now. I'm sorry. Come on. You really need to stop saying that you're sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Don't give up. Because time is still on our side. So then, tomorrow. Do you think an offseer can ever reach others? You know, I thought our lives were like our music, always in our hands, under our control. I wasn't facing the truth. Even if I could reach people, I wouldn't be able to save them. I should have known that. It's unbearable. Seeing life slip away from you. Even though they're right there. What am I even doing? Dark out, huh? No moon. Huh? But the starlight is so nice and warm. Mio. Hey. When the two of us first met, you asked me if I wanted to survive. Yeah? I replied. I didn't mind either way. Yeah. I'll correct that. Now I... want to live. To live... and learn... a whole lot more. Noah, there's so much for us to see. 
Finally. You called me by my name. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I felt that... If I did, my heart would downright break. Because... I'd be admitting the truth. Mio. But you know... These feelings that grew within me, they're thanks to you. <laughs> That's why... You're not allowed to say it's been for nothing. You've enriched my life, Noah. That's clear now. Mio. You know, I don't want this to be it. If I were given the chance, if this road I've walked were to keep on going, I'd like to spend that time with my Noah. My queen! Your majesty! Queen Nia! Queen Nia! Queen Nia! Trace our ancestry back a thousand years, and you will find an offseer carrying out the first homecoming. Now, in Agnes, no fewer than 999 lives have returned to themselves to me. It is an auspicious day. I believe such is your view. Yet, for me, it is a day that brings heartache. I wish nothing more than the safe return of all life born of me. Such is my eternal hope. To come home is Quite the elaborate comfort. production. Fancy, another puppet on display. Assuming Monica's intel was true. And yet, it's all been so pointless, grief in my heart fighting for that thing. Today, She's a phony, that's what she is. Even if it's her in the flesh up there, I'll rip her off her high horse. Yes, for she is the one thousand you think uh, they're gonna execute us too after this? Yes, sir. So. You hear it? Do you know so it's here. back into the cycle. Back into the same old crap she again. Of me, and now returns. Wish we could have gone a little further. Same here. Listen well. Lest we forget the keys and gondols hands now. I think we've done enough. Yeah, we've passed the torch. 
Now, it's up to the city. Shut up! Ingrid Keep it quiet! To your heart, as she now returns to me. Ad perpetuum rei memoriam. Noah, giving up, now of all time? I don't want to give up. But we're trapped here. Our blades... I hope at least she can go in peace. <sighs> of course Noah trapped. Noah still not tried to draw Lucky Seven. Huh? Remember? Back when Riku gave wisdom? When need of true power, sword will appear. Yeah. I remember. Today is day of need. Even at edge, facing sheer drop, must never give up. Riku. Pick it up. <laughs> You're an offseer, so send her. What's wrong? Go on, send her. Isn't that your role? Isn't she your Mio? It's been fun, Noah. Mia!
Well then, you've made your choice. Are you happy with how it turned out? Is this how you wanted the future to be? Been repeating the same aimless actions all to keep the world this way and yourself <sighs> once more today you've lost the one you cherished most are you sad if you could would you try again or would you rather Linger in the endless now. Noah! 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 Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Though we don't understand it fully, some functions may still remain hidden. But still, even in its current state, the power it's releasing is more than enough. With this in hand, we can fulfill the wish entrusted to us by the Queen. You mean, take back the world from Mobius? Yes, definitely. Three more months. That's all we need. Mio. So impotent. Did you really think you could stem the tide with the paltry power that you possess? <laughs> oh, you who floats in the currents, you must yield, abandon all you are. I should have dozed a while longer. Oh. Good morning. Wanna eat? Wait, I forgot you don't like to eat right after waking. No, I'll have some. Tomorrow's the day, the final battle against Mobius. We've come a long way to get here. Now it'll finally be over. <sighs> it's fine. I've got three whole days. Three days is plenty. I'm sure we'll be golden. floats in the currents. You must yield. Did I not tell you? Yield what? How many times has it been now? Leo. Please, no. I can't. <laughs> the world. I wanted to change it. For whose sake? I did it for her. But you... 
Run away. No one. How can you betray us like this? You just gonna abandon us? You have the old ball up by now. What is wrong with you? He trusted you. He followed you for all this time. No one. No one. Where did you go? No one. Are you sure it wasn't for yourself? No. This isn't me. You only cared about yourself. No. I was... I didn't... But with time, you change. Strong lungs on that one. Heard him all the way outside. He looks just like Daddy. I would have said Mummy. <laughs> Our hopes and dreams made into a little person. You'll lead the way to a new world. A new way of life. Yeah. What about his name? I don't think we ever agreed on one. <laughs> it's your call. You're good at naming, aren't you? Uh, n no. I don't think that's a good idea. It's probably best if I don't. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Right, I'll do it. Okay? Mm. Here's what we'll call him then. I hope that the future will be kinder to you. Mio.
Daddy will have to go soon. All right? But you know, your daddy's and mummy's love, our life, will always be within you. You'll never be alone. Things will get tough. You'll be hurt. You have a whole host of things to go through as you head into the future. A time might come when you'll be on the verge of giving up. But you have to keep going. Make friends. Keep them close to you, always. That's what Daddy and Mummy did. We're with you, now and forever. Why? Why am I crying? Why do I look like that? That's another you. That's how he was. Another me? You from the past. Me from the past? And then, you made your choice. There are two roads set before every individual. The left, the right. What lies down the road you choose? Is it hope or despair? It repeats and repeats as you make countless endless choices. You too, like everyone, have been making them all along. If the results satisfy, that is well and good. But if they do not satisfy, what then? Will you weep, battered by grief? Or howl, seething with rage? Have you never prayed that time would simply stop? Have you wished the now would last forever? Your two lives thriving and persisting far beyond homecoming, surpassing the system of the world. I was fascinated, even beguiled by you. My name is Zed, the ruler of this world. I shall grant your desire.
So you have chosen then. The endless now. And so, you became Mobius. So that, you could live an eternal now together. Is this still your wish? Do you want to ask one more time, for time to stop? Why is it that you are here? Why did you split from your other self? Why is it that you exist? I thought I wanted to know. Know what? I became an Offseer because I wanted to know the meaning behind the smile. Tell me. I had a friend. As important to me as... as Lance and Uni or Yoren. Noah, will you keep moving? What? Me, I'm good here. Chris, what do you mean, you're good? Thank you. Chris, I wondered why he smiled back then. And not just him, Joran too. I wanted to know why. That's why. Why he continued as an officer. For the longest time, I thought they pitied those of us left behind. Sucks to be you. Sorry, guys. I'm checking out early. It'll be tough, but keep your chins up. I figured that's what the smile said. But now, Mio too was smiling. I think I get it now. The meaning behind the smile. I think they were all content with the way it ended. Like they were putting us in charge of the future. Telling us to make a world where everyone can smile. But it just breaks my heart that that was the only smile they could choose. And it really shouldn't have been. The world we have now, it doesn't give us the choice to smile. If the world won't let us choose, outside these narrow bounds. I want nothing more than to rip this world apart. I want to repay those smiles. 
That's why I'm here. And you won't choose the same path as your other? Who can tell? I may end up doing that, but I'll change it, no matter what. Because that is the legacy that Mio left me. Even if you're left alone? Even if I'm alone. In that case... Let us walk together. I'm sorry. My hair. It's gotten kinda long. Will you still... walk alongside me? Noah? Mio! is What you see, those are our memories. Continuing uninterrupted since the world was taken captive a long time ago. Memories of me and him. Why are you showing me this? You are. No, all of you are my repentance. Repentance? How I wanted us to be. You embody all our hopes. Our dreams of how this world should be. Even though you and your friends should never have existed, the fact that you are here is proof enough. So you let me live. But if you go through with this, you'll be... To my Noah, the time with me is everything. I just want it to end. Mobius, like me, 
We can exist only by taking the souls of those that grace this world. Nobody pays the slightest mind to the thoughts and dreams those many lives espouse. We gorge ourselves, covered every ember, just to delay our inevitable ruin. That's why you want to disappear. If I die, maybe he'll see. Maybe he could somehow realize what it is that I wish. That would be enough. Afterwards, it'll be up to you two to walk the path we ought to have walked, he and I. The path they ought to have walked. So it's confirmed. N and M are other versions of Noah and Mia. The other me, she passed all of her memories on to me so that I could share everything with you. Share everything? I have to know. How could you do this? Why are you on their side? What are you talking about? I felt him with these hands. That sensation. The emotion. It was no illusion. And yet you still became Mobius, harvesting people without even batting an eye. <laughs> I want to know why. Isn't there a trace left inside you of your old feelings? Because if there was even a little... Feelings, you say? You dare? <laughs> My feelings... My feelings have never changed. They're the same as they've always been. They're for you, Mio. The time I had with you meant everything to me. But now, it's all gone. <laughs> if she truly is gone, I'll have to redo it all. Watch me rewind our clocks back to the start. <sighs> Noah, my long shadow, you have stolen her away from me. I will extinguish you and take her back! Mio is mine! She's not yours. She's mine. You are nothing. She belongs only to me! Words won't cut it. I can't get through to him. Mio! Later. The mud is glaring and he looks pissed off. I can more or less grasp what's going on here, but you'd better explain the details later. Yeah, absolutely. If words won't get through to him, there's only one way left to us. No. We can't let this go on. Mio! Yeah. I'm ready when you are. Come on! Destroy them! 
Make it so they're not reborn. Pound their souls into the dust. I don't take orders from you. But Mobius are the world itself. There can be but one me, and I am it! of origin. You are going to end it all. To end Mobius, the pinnacle of life. This very world! If, if the, the world, world holds, holds our, our lives, lives back, back, I will end it. It's as simple as that. It is impossible. I tried. We tried to walk that path and failed. You're, You're full, full of shit! shit. You, you never, never tried, tried, you're just a coward! What to do? If you meant it, you'd have found a way, but you didn't even try to make the effort! Did you? So what do you know of the world and of life? Why she traded places with me. <gasps> she felt imprisoned. And you, you put her there. Shuffling lives pointlessly back and forth for an eternity of control. You call it control? She never really wanted anything like that. She just, she wants to live out her precious days together with you. You should have been able to give her that. Is that why she handed her life to you? Is that why she rejected me? It's not rejection. She understood. She always knew your reasons. All she wanted was to end your misery. That's the reason she gave this body to me. By leaving this world behind, she wanted to tell you she didn't want forever. She wanted to be there with you. And so she left me behind. She would do that! How can we be together now? With her gone from the world, what's the point of it all? It's you that drove her to this. Wake up already! You're Noah, right? Why? Why does nothing seem to get through to you? <laughs> Damage to his core? Tch. Useless lunk. Although, N is the wielder of the Sword of Origin. It'd be a problem to have him croak here. Don't you think, Zed? Oh well. In that case... Is that what she really was? Knew it! It's the same as with Kevis! We've got a winner! In Kevis's case, it was all a bit toothless, huh? But this time, there will be no excuse.
B with one blow. That sword. Guess there's no mistaking it. Where did a brat like him get that? Don't waste your time on petty tricks. The castle is in our hands now. Petty tricks, huh? <laughs> you think you've won? Huh? Tell me, do you know the phrase, last laugh? Admittedly, you probably won't find this very funny, but I will. See how you like this! An annihilator! There was one in Agnes, too! We have another winner! Why? What are you even gonna shoot? You wanna know the target? It's right here! The city! How'd they even find it? <gasps> you didn't! Sold out the city! Just what the hell do you know? You dream of living out your days in peace! You want to protect the natural way of life! <laughs> All that shite is a right afforded only to the powerful! <sighs> what about those who can't live in peace, huh? Are they meant to survive in all this chaos until the very day they die? I have not one thing to my name. I don't even have the power to choose. Screw it. For all I care, all of this can go to hell! Shania, please. Whichever way you lot want to slice it, your lives are in our grasp. I will teach you the meaning of regret and reek you like so much rotten grain. It's all my fault. I didn't think they'd have an ace up their sleeve. I got careless. It's okay. What? Voice? Condor? Guess he's back, bitches! Condor! You're all right! Damn, that was gonna be my line! Heh. <laughs> Looks like things worked out over here anyway. Did she... Yep. If she hadn't clued us in, we'd be up Ship Creek now. Right. 
Mio. Monica and the others? Bitch Queen's fine too. The city's currently right about here. Underneath the world? How is that possible? The city itself is actually a massive bloody for honest. If we feel like it, we can move it to anywhere in the world. Simply astounding. I thought it was just like an oversized colony. There wasn't exactly common knowledge. The bitch queen and I knew. And a handful of others. That's it. We had to be sure so that some slimy traitor wouldn't drop us in it. Traitor. All right. I'm not gonna ask why. I suppose I know the reason. But if it's what I'm thinking, then I don't get it at all. If we'd made one mistake, the city would have been wiped out. Before we're done, you'll tell me everything I wanna know. Shania. <gasps> it's your eyes, that look! You've always looked at me that way. Why did it have to be like this? Why is it always me, standing here on my own? Shania. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it up to here. <gasps> Shania! Drop it! This isn't what I meant by done! Don't misunderstand! This is... This is the beginning! Shania! Are you ready, Senna? Noah. This is the fate that Shania chose. It isn't the end. Like she said herself, this is the beginning. Come on. Up you get. I don't know if it'll reach her, but still, Senna, we'll do all we can. Mm. I can't help but wonder, would I have been able to save you? I wanted time to stand still, more than anything. I felt completely powerless. I wished time would stop. If the moment could have lasted forever, we... I wished for the unthinkable, just like N. I proved to be just like him. For my part, this is all I need. When did you two? It was when we first fought against them. Ever since then, Em and I were swapped around. I see. 
I honestly thought you were M back there. You had me fooled. Maybe that's a bad way to put it. In any case, I didn't realize at all. I did try my best. I couldn't afford to fail. If anyone suspected me, you'd have all been executed on the spot. But her feelings... I couldn't simply let them go to waste. M's feelings? She wanted to give you everything that she knew about N. To help us escape. To break this never-ending Mobius curse. To lose and lose and still stand back up. Even in the depths of despair. She wanted you to have the strength to defeat those at the root of that despair. She sure had a lot of faith in me. Oh. She believed that if anyone in the world could make it possible, it would be you. That's why she merged our will so we could act to further our goal. Earlier, you said it was fun, but it wasn't you. It was M. I really think she meant it. It was brief, but being who I am now, passing my thoughts along onto you, and receiving yours in turn, she was grateful. I see. From that moment, M's words were my words, and my words were now hers. Her life was scattered on the breeze, but her memories and her will live on inside my heart. Come, I have something to show you. Here. M was still unsure to the very last whether to show you the memory of this place. But I think it would be best. This place, it was everything to N. What do you mean? Well, you see, this is where the city once stood. It did? It was long ago. The city back then. It was much more prosperous than now. It positively teemed with people. So then, it must have drawn Mobius's ire even more than now. There it lies before you, your heart's desire. There is no life within. You must breathe it into her yourself. <gasps> life from the people of the city. You want me to end every one of them? Why the hesitation? Existing in this place is by itself a result of your own choices. You are the one who chose the Endless now, are you not? Your response should already be predetermined. Such a shame. Wait! Please!
the city's inhabitants were the descendants of M, N, and others who became Ouroboros in the past. In exchange for the lease on life they would get as Mobius, Zed ordered N to kill the city's people. to exist as Mobius, the same as myself. So you did it. Sealed our fate. Now we can live forever. But this future's been stamped out before its time. Only two things were important to him. Impossible. How could one ever choose between them? Surely he couldn't... do it. And yet... he did make a choice. No one can truly judge him for the things he did. Repentance. Mm. The intentions they left behind, they turned into us. Mm. Of course, it's heartbreaking, but... But still, she was smiling. We have to change things. Yeah. And this time, we'll succeed. So it's set. Our new goal. Agreed? Yes. He can't get away with this. And I'm not feeling very forgiving either. But guys, now we know there's an even bigger bad behind that snuffer. Zed. Making someone choose the impossible? It's so cruel. Thanks, everyone. Looks like your minds are made up. Here, this is yours. By the by, who is that Zed sleazebag? He's something like the head of all Mobius, or so it seemed. I've only met him in the memories that M showed me, though. We now know his power is vast, far greater than any of the others in Mobius. Damn, so he's... Yes, he is our true adversary. The one who formed the world we know. Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where, I'd...
<sighs> Feels like we have one less worry now, eh? Agreed. They should be able to start on repairs now. Not what I meant, though. I meant this whole thing. Mio, that's right. At that moment, everything just felt so utterly hopeless that it hurt. There wasn't a thing I could do. But it still worked out, right? Huh. Thanks to all of you being there. Ah! What? Surprised you didn't choke on those words. Well, of course not. I can express some emotions. <laughs> there has to be a reason we met. Hmm? Say what? It's something that Noah said once. And you found a reason? We've seen one wish granted. True. Still, we've got a way to go. This isn't nearly the end. No rest for Ouroboros. At least we've won ourselves an extension. Ah, uh, it'll work out somehow. Uni, am I sensing a streak of optimism? I thought you were one to worry about the details a bit more. Now I've got a reliable guy to stand by me, so... Oh. What, what and, and who m might that be, then? <laughs> That'll be my secret. me by my other self, right? I don't know if it's fine for me to just snip. Yeah, that's a big question for sure. Hmm. The hair doesn't just belong to me, but it's... It's what? It's such a pain in the ass to wash. Huh? What? I just can't smart and deal with it. How she'd ever have the patience? The washing takes ages, and the bedhead's a nightmare. And don't get me started on the latrine. Whoa. Say no more, love. Oh, Mimi. So, what do you think? Uh, well... Look, why don't you just ask Noah? This has nothing to do with him. It's my problem and mine alone. Is it just that you're looking for permission? I'd also settle for a no. Hmm. <laughs> right then, let's sort this out. We'll decide for you if you want. But afterwards, you better not come crying, got it? Mm, I won't, I promise. The Cloud Keep, you say? Yes. It's where the Queen of Agnes lies sleeping. And this is the key we need to get there.
You could throw yourself off, but it wouldn't be enough. Such is the fate of a Mobius. You should know by now. It's you. We've met before, when you were still human. Your Majesty, my Queen. I will go to sleep, for a good long time indeed. That should keep me out of Zed's claws. <sighs> Take this. Whenever it is I wake up again, the world will be ripe for a change. Until that time, keep it safe. You should give it to those who deserve it. How will I know who? They'll come before you. Of that, I have no doubt. But why choose me? Because you, nay, the two of you, one day, you will certainly meet your true selves. Our true selves? Huh? I must say, I'm surprised by the location. It's right in the vicinity of Gamma and Nine. How has it escaped detection for all this time? The area around the keep, it's absolutely swimming with black fog. And there's optic camouflaging on the structure itself. So that'll be why. Is that all from M's memories? Hmm. All stuff she passed on to me. Crazy. Gondo, you knew M. Yeah, from a pretty long way back. She's the one who gave me that bloody thing in the first place. She said you lot were our last hope. Asked us to lend you our assistance and junk. She must have been guarding the Queen's words. Yeah, for proper yonks and yonks and no mistaking. And that's also the reason that you were waiting for us. Cooped up there all that time. Busted. And the thousand lives thing. What was all that? Nice spiel, right? I wrote it. Are you serious? Snuff, that's a letdown. You what? Let's head out as soon as we're ready. Mobius is still out and about. We don't have to worry about Mio's lifespan anymore. But we can't just sit around, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys. Mm hmm? <laughs> There's a place other than Cloudkeep that I really need to go to. Really need? Seems you're rather troubled. Are you certain it's really that vital? It's Colony Omega. Omega? What? No way! It's still there? The colony I lived in with me, Abby. It was under the control of Mobius Y. I learned something important from the other me. Me, Abby's still alive. This. Me, Abby. She clearly means a lot to you, then. I'm happy to leave the decision to you. Of course we can head for the keep first. This is something personal for me. Right. I hear you. Okay. To Omega. If Mio's saying she has to go there, then we will. We'll make it high priority. Thank you, Noah. Stinks. Frickin' sort of origin thing. You made me look like a complete idiot! The unexpected doth come to pass. Deeply fascinating. Yeah, but what's the plan? 
You're not gonna want to let it slide, surely. We acknowledge and accept, whether outside or indeed within, all is part of the flow. Man, you're like a broken record. It is, after all, part and parcel of my being. Huh. I'll just do things my way, then. Uruboros. They're nothing without what we gave them. Huh. Got a problem, Why? I shall claim primacy. So I just pulled it free. No, I mean lucky seven. Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before Paul Free, Mobius' power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? The will of the wielder. If understand, then why ask? Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how's a common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Master Pond to keep safe. Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? <laughs> what Riku say funny? Nah, all good. We'll say I believe you. Meh meh. Riku bothered by that wording. Don't worry. I think I get it now. Oh? Nonetheless, Lucky Seven is something we'll have to cherish as we go on. Riku, thanks a lot. Marvelous. Deft motions with nary a sign of hesitation. The footwork, remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee. Miyabi, my most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays. Can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi? Shouldn't have slacked in basic. 20 laps of the colony, and pick up the pace.
An Offseer? Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings in all the training categories. It's done. But, sir... Enter. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official Colony Theta Offseers. But, Commander... Understand. This decision is final. <sighs> so, did you learn the score? Hmm, I guess. So you can play it? More or less. That's so cool! And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying, but I'm struggling a bit with the start of the 12th bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You... You're right, yeah. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Well then. I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. Shall we go, Mia? Nadia, what's up? Fine tuning? Yeah. Got another battle tomorrow. Bit of a waste, ah. Uh. And you're such a slick fighter, too. Can't believe they paired you with that klutz me Abby. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> uh, at least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. <clears throat> Nadia, we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Cool, be right there. Later! Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. To be fair... We scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? This is all... such a waste. What is? Everyone else is out collecting life. And here we are, noodling our tunes. What use are we, really? To the colony and everyone? I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... after death, is all. <laughs> <laughs> 
After death, though, isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here, and nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is. Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an offseer? For a commendation? No, it's just... duty. You know, I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <gasps> it is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to... We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mio, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. Fly high, ever higher. Goodbye. And thank you. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. It's not a waste at all. So long as those voices speak to you. Voices? I might fall over. <sighs> Shall we take a breather? Sounds good. The cold of the Highlands is no joke. It would definitely be a good idea to rest up. <sighs> How about that spot over there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? I've had glimpses when we interlink, but what does it all mean? 
Right. I'll try. Sana, is that okay? May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Then one day, there was a... an accident. my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Me happy. Thank you. do a thing. I wasn't any use. None at all. Senna. Miyabi was a hero. All that an Ofsia ought to be. She put it in here. And she gave it to me. Truly a... hero. I decided... I'll find it for myself. I'll leave my mark on others and the world. This lifetime that Miyabi gave to me, I'll use it well. Regret all you want, but the past can never be changed. But you can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then, like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Is it wrong to think that? Not at all. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So yeah, 
I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah. Our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They got up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now! Don't go lumping me in with Lance. I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnion, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was performing some kind of experiment there, using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. All I can remember is that oddly glowing violet flame clock. A colony that doesn't fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Why has restored it now? Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M. Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence, the tests, it was all why. That's just the Mobius he is. Oh. Do share. Mimi, remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Kamaravi's Veronises? I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Really? Ethel and Kamaravi had their lives taken. And in that accident, so were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to our soldiers. And now that the colony's back, you're thinking Miyabi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toys with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega. Everyone, thank you. This time, I'll do the saving. The brilliance doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have a bitten apace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, Many lost sight of the fifth thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. The brilliance of life is exigent, more dazzling than now. If we wish to save the world. Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit. But that's just not possible. Possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. <sighs> Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Mio said, then they've been running an experiment out of Omega. These soldiers are evidently one of the results. Kevis and Agnes. 
What kind of experiment could involve both of them? I don't know. But I do know the answer lies ahead. They've been... reborn? No, if that was the case, wouldn't they be way younger? Mwamba looks like he did this term. Mwamba! It's me! Lance! You know me! Stop it! Mwamba! And now Kamaravi? What's going on? This melody... Why? Miyabi! It's me! Sana, your friend! We came to save you! You don't have to fight for him anymore! So stop and come along with us! Save thy breath. <gasps> the Revenants neither remember nor feel. Only the instinct to fight tooth and nail for survival. Normally, they would undergo basic conditioning in a cradle prior to being awoken. As you all once did. They would fight for ten years before returning to Her Majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away... Tis a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Oh, they are as sheep. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. <sighs> Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed's humble desire. Zed? It is Zed who wove the fabric of this world. Consequently, we, who are his avatars, enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars? The gift I was imparted is the creation of flame clocks. Must I say more? I hold the life of every soldier in the very palm of my hand. <sighs> Indeed, the flame clocks. They are part of my very being. Ethel and Kamaravi's flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow of their lives. <sighs> then did it strike me. Like unto a flame. Human life also doth glow and glimmer brightest just before it is quenched. And hence, there can be no greater nourishment. Indeed, this flame clock is therefore my proudest creation. 
The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamaravi, you brought them back close to their homecoming. Why? This is all kinds of screwed up. I've never met anyone I wanted to punch more. Yeah. Even for Mobius, he takes the biscuit. What is the matter? Proceed with the killing. Let your function be fulfilled and kill. And I shall raise you up as many times as needed with my flame clock ablaze. He's mad. Come, come. Let my eyes feast upon the brilliance of your lives. Here and on. Oh, Mlamba, when did you get so strong? Kamaravi, too. The last time we fought, he was in a Faronis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Poor Miyabi. They're strong, all right. But that's all they are. Huh? The melody Miyabi used to play? It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. So then... Yeah. They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather... unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. An offseer conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focused my efforts on, and iterated. That's wrong! You can't use the offseers! Au contraire, au contraire. Behold for thyself. The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it, but will is an undesired side effect. Evil! You can't do this! Not to me, Abby! Not to our off-seeing rights! How dare you use them to your own ends! <sighs> That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! Feelings? It's the Offseer melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an Offseer too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Of course, yeah. Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Understood. I'm taking the lead. You follow. Noah, Mia, what are you? Wow. Good thinking, you two. Huh? I'm saying this might actually work. Come on, guys, defend. Lance, Senna. All right. Sure thing.
What in the... May I be? Hear me? It's me. Mio. Remember... That day... When you first explained to me the purpose of an Anofsia... Softly... That fateful day... When the lights of life danced into the sky... So high... Ever since that day... I've... I've done my best... To play that melody... You trusted me with... Miyabi... You gave me newfound life back then... Now... Let it be my turn... You... Help me... Just wait... Miyabi... I'll be with you soon... ought to have all been scoured clean! Why? An Offseer's melody, it's more than a sequence of notes. It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did was shape the feeling Miyabi passed to me and play my heart out. Inconceivable. You were able to override Zed's precepts? No Ouroboros <laughs> should command that sort of power! The sword of the end. That's what's behind this reprehensible act. Well then, I shall just have to ascertain the matter. Oh, oh Spark! He's coming! Now he steps in. He's even chunkier than that K guy. That is a lot of chunk. No! Mia! Come on! Yeah? Take him down. Then we can free the colony. Since you both are no longer bound by the flame clocks, my mobile's power certainly holds no sway over you. Oh no! At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear, and batter you all into oblivion! Come! 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 Noah, it's, it's time! time. Quick, Quick, set them all free! Cut, Cut the, the flame hook now! Uncreditable effort, or a borrowed. Reviving their memories is no small feat. And how scintillating a display. Now, take their brilliance in hand and spread it wide. And in so doing, illuminate the world therewith. I shall be watching eagerly. He got away. Miyabi. Miyabi. I've, uh... I've been listening all along. The melody you've been playing. Every day. Since then. Yeah. Miyabi, thanks to you. I sent on so many. So many voices to so many others. And I'm not done yet. I'll keep going. It was a gorgeous melody. Yours. And... Noah. Nice to meet you, I guess. 
though I already feel like I know you. Noah, huh? Yours was very beautiful. Just like Mio's. I owe it to this. No, you... you hold on to that. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'll wash it. It'll be as good as new. Dummy, that's not what she was trying to say at all. Wait, why am I... Right? From me to Mio, and from her to you, the feeling is passed on. Until you can make your voice truly heard, please keep it with you, yeah? I will. If that's how you feel, I'll be more than happy to keep using it. Take care, then. Mio? Huh? You've become the greatest Offseer I've ever seen. Oh, there's still room to grow. But at least I found my stride. Since I'm not alone. Could I, uh... Come with you? Of course. You're back, Miyabi. We really missed you. Thank you, Mio, Senna. Psst. I said psst. What's up? So, um, you've got M's memories. Uni, why are we whispering? Roll with it. I do, yeah. Why, though? So tell me stuff. Tell you what stuff? Stuff about the Queen and Mobius. Anything you got. But like what exactly? Like how the two are connected? Any secrets? Or where they are? Oi, no giving out exclusives. Lance. We want to know this stuff too, right? Well, I suppose. But still. Yeah. I trust Mimi. If it was important, I'm sure she'd tell us everything. And since she's not saying, there's a reason, right? Mm. If it's about the Queen, you shouldn't hear it from me, but rather from Her Majesty herself, I think. The Queen's bound to know things that M didn't. Oh, so that's it then? You're just gonna pass the buck? Well, I suppose so. Feels a bit stingy, that's all. Hey, no grumbling. I'm in the same levelness as you, okay? All right, all right, I'll yield. Might as well save my appetite for the main course. Glad I made this journey. There's nothing special here. Friends, shall we come to right place? We're good. You'll see. Is this real? That's the Cloud Keep. Whoa! Fantastic bit of tech. Amazing how they kept it hidden. So 
is this where the Queen's been sleeping then? Yes. Right at the very top. Right. Let's move. Not far now. A few more stairs. We might finally discover the way to free the world. End Mobius's reign. We're here. Yes. She's really pretty. It's her. That's the real Queen of Agnes. She's sleeping and not dead, right? Don't worry. She'll awake soon enough. <laughs> ah! She's up! it now. Yoren! You rats! How'd you find us? I don't get your surprise. That one's still half Mobius. You didn't seriously think we'd lose her, did you? Or did you think you're all that just because you managed to defeat N? Thanks to you, I got to end that aggravating old bat, fulfilling Zed's orders in the process. Looks like we got played. Yorin, are you seriously... Seriously what? Teaming up with this creep. You've killed her! Wasn't that clear? You know I am Mobius. I was reborn, and on that day, Jay surpassed you all. That day? Right. Then tell me. Why did you do it? Trade your life for mine? You could have ignored me, got away safe. Well, Chi, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see, there might be something in one of my memories. Maybe if I die instead of him, I'll please him? Perhaps that's what I was thinking. One of your memories. Since I couldn't do anything else right, you know? Must be nice to be you, Lance. Just being yourself. Nice to be me? You couldn't fathom how hard it is to be useless. You'd never understand, unless you'd seen yourself in that light. Oh, here's a thought. How about you try interlinking with me for a lark? I bet you'll cry at the state of me. Fun fact, you know. When you become Mobius, you're treated to all the memories of your past lives. I got to see all the different me's. Although they all pretty much met the same sad end. Deadweight will always be that. I am... Nothing but myself. 
Those were all just coincidences. We know different. That's right. We thought... No, I knew for sure that you were awesome. Whatever. Bet you were well and truly fed up with me. Although, back on that day, I still managed to surpass you. I can still be here, feel this rush. And now, I'm having the time of my life. Be nice to be strong like you guys. And me? I was just a worm crawling in the dirt. But what I wanted was to fly. With every single new day I looked up to admire the birds freewheeling above. But I was a worm. Yorvan, cut the crap. The stuff you guys said was like if those birds went... But Mr. Worm, you do such great work tilling the soil. It's really important you keep at it for the sake of the world, you know? Do you see what I'm trying to say? And what's so wrong about that? I wanted my wings, you bastard! I thought if only I could earn your approval, it'd be like an updraft I could soar on! But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lowly worm feels? <gasps> You're a... Just how could you possibly think like that? You wanted approval, so you... How, how could, could I, I not? That's why I became Mobius. So I could be what I always aspired to be. What? This is you? It looks nothing like you. That's what I want to end up like, someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? Liar! If you think you're satisfied being this way, you're lying to no one but yourself. I know you can't be at peace with this, so drop the act. <sighs> and yeah, maybe to you we were like birds. But that has nothing to do with strength. Only lack of choice. Lack of choice? Just look at how the world is for us. It wouldn't... It would never allow us to take any other form. So we have to change it. For weak people like us. Weak? You're weak. <laughs> On that day, weren't you smiling? Oh yes, I sure was smiling. Because it was the moment I rose above you. It was a grin of victory. No, it wasn't. On that day, you, that was the real you. Our friend, Joran. Stop mocking me. Look, you'd made it, Joran. You spread your true wings. <sighs> Joran. Your death, it changed me. Fighting isn't everything. I learned that if I chose, I could change myself, become anything. Joran, I'm grateful as spark to you. Ain't you the same, Joran? Maybe... If you had the choice too, in a world where nothing has to be like this. And that's exactly the kind of world we want to create. We want choices. Remember your Mobius. You should have other nice memories as well. You have to try and remember them, anything at all. <sighs> I've... I've seen all kinds of death. Taking a long, hard look at myself. So let me tell you, you're an, you're, you're more than this. 
Yoren, you've given me so much. You helped me find the will to endure these ten hard years. Come to us, please, Yoren. Let's all stand together. You don't belong with them. You just don't. Was that also me? That day, it was like my body just moved. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you think you're getting carried away there? Ugh, what a loser! You, good-for-nothing shit for brains! An interlink? He's taking him over. Ugh! He's a real piece of work. D. You scum! Ever had dreams? Dreams of dying. Of being slaughtered. Ugh. Oh well. Most people forget as soon as they wake. No harm done. But tell you what. They're all completely true. And so snuffing what? What if they were? The past is past, and the present is now. I wasn't finished. Dreams, you see. They're little traces of intense memories from your past lives that didn't get purged before rebirth. Little harmless bugs in the system, let's call them. However... Not so with Mobius. Just like the runt said, when you become Mobius, in that very moment, all your past memories come rushing back to you. To put it mildly, it's... It's transcendent. Before coming here, I went to visit the Furanus, where I keep my collection. Collection, you say? I think I'm gonna hoe. Push through it! 
first, we gotta save Yorin from the ship back. Yeah, you need what Lance said. This punk needs a weapon. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll do. We'll thrash this ship back, save Yorin, and get me some payback. If you fancy your chances, take your shot. I'll be more than happy to rip your bloody pelts off. And add them to my collection. Rather than take lives with his blade, he'd behead his enemies with talon-like swords, bring them back, and add them to his collection. So that's who we're dealing with. Is this your doing? Jay, what are you trying to pull? I can't crush these fools if you hold your strength back. Give it to me, you no-good deadweight loser! Wait, loser. Who else, kiddo? So give it up! Go on, give! Look, you'd made it, Yorin. You spread your true wings. So let me tell you. Yorin. You're... You're more than this. I can be... More... It's my choice. I will be different. Yoren! This is who I am. Isn't it? Noah. Uni. Lands. Jay, stop! <laughs> if I die here, I won't... <laughs> Snuffing idiot. Always putting others ahead of yourself, you moron. You should have just... looked out for number one. But you were so scary, I didn't really feel like I had that option. I suppose... 
I'm sorry, Euron. Maybe... If we meet again. Yeah. And next time, we will win. That was... Yarn. Yeah, sure was. I swear, he hadn't changed one bit. But this... This isn't okay. People shouldn't have to make such heartbreaking choices. Yeah. That's exactly why we gotta move forward. Yeah, well... What do we do? The Queen's... She's gone now. What do we do? What can we even do? This was... supposed to be how we take back our world. I'm so sorry. I knew I was half Mobius. I should have been more careful. But instead... <sighs> to the side and things that have been a sight twist. being stabbed directly through the heart. And all that blood everywhere. But now, now she's alive, alive and kicking. Yeah. You are. Oh, that's good. So it worked after all. Your Majesty. My name is Nia. And I am the Queen of Agnes, one wing of Ionios. N and M. Another version of us. What are we really? Why do we exist in the first place? The answers are within me, together with her hopes and dreams. I will give them a voice. I will make him hear our truth. Three hundred days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. 
to prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning or our demise? No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course and show us the true meaning of our deed. In the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface, they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other against the solitude of existence they strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still. By the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it, was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only to keep everything in its place in stasis and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and death. No one, not even M knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. With its help, I was able to create... the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him 
to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? One of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? <sighs> As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you two can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown, smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers and the Sword of the End, both. The Sword of the End? The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kvesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean it's like an Ouroboros stone? The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty, what is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, then free it and the Kvesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that? Your Majesty. If you desire to have a future before you. <sighs> I need to know. Zed and Mobius, must they be our enemy? Noah. Now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. All right. Come this way. Behold. There are the nadir of the vortex, sleep's origin. In the sea? <sighs> Deep beneath the sea where none may tread, Zed spins his world-spanning web. So you're saying... The Queen of Kevis, she's there as well? Well, snuff me. I want to save the Queen as much as the next guy. But how are we supposed to even get there? You can't even get near without being ripped apart. Yeah, but if anyone were to know the trick, it's Queen Nia. Seeing as, you know, she's the mastermind behind the whole origin shebang, yeah? Right. Actually, I kinda don't. Oh, but... but you're the Queen! How do you not know that? This is shocking. Absolute nonsense. I simply cannot believe this. I... I don't know how to respond. Come on, you lot. Rein it in now. Huh? Hang on. Hmm? Mio, don't you... Get to use those Mobius powers. Uh, um, well... Then it should be a snap, right? Pew! We're there. Those clowns were doing it all the time. Actually... Go on. I can't... 
Use them right now. The Mobius powers. What? I noticed it right after we liberated the castle. I couldn't work out why myself. It was so sudden. No! Is this why you blew us off saying to ask the Queen ourselves? Oh, sorry, Uni. Oh, love. I suspect it must be Zed. Huh? The power of Mobius. It's part of the flow and fabric of the world. What is permitted, and what is prohibited, is subject to Zed's whims. Even with Origin, not every Mobius knows of his existence. But I was able to use the Ouroboros powers. The power you currently wield is, let's say, external to the flow. Even Zed himself cannot grasp what's beyond his reach. Therein is my hope based. <sighs> we're still stuck, though. We know where to go, but we're kind of dead in the water here. How to tackle the Vortex, then? <gasps> Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon was, uh, that Nopon from the city. Yeah. Recall what he said about a ship that could brave the Great Sea. Ultimate vessel. That right. Even vortexing raging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as queen of boats. Still work in progress, but sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Yeah, he did say that. Something about it being able to take on stormy weather. Wait, wasn't that a work in progress, though? I think he might have been drawing up blueprints? Whatever Mr. Salmon said, he was pretty ardent about it. Which must mean... There might be a way to get there, after all. All right, let's go. Yeah. Finally, our lucky break. Looks like this place was worth the trip. Better hurry. I hardly imagine Mobius will stand idly by. Agreed. Your Majesty! Huh? Thanks a lot. Things are looking up. Uh, sure. Right, okay. I think I understand. If you're looking for Samon, he'll be in maintenance, same as usual. I'll send someone to get you. Just head on over. Many thanks. We'll be outside the Cloud Keep. Friends mean old Butte. She tucked away, all cosy in dock number three. What, really? Curious? We are. All righty. Then please follow Sam on to port.
So this is it. The ship that can conquer the Great Sea's vortex. So it! And you got it all ready, too. It's like a different beast from what we've been using. I'd venture to call it a masterwork. There's a real sense of power behind this craft. Please not to get garments in twist. This is just hull. Just, just the, the hull. hull. Key elements of engine not quite ready yet. Ship without engine is like... a light torpedo wrap without filling of tasty sausage. That crime against cuisine! Torpedo wrap without tasty sausage like ship without engine! Mr. Salmon, what is it the engine needs? To be precise, just need core component. Is this part here, and still need six more to make. Unfortunately, only have this one here. I've seen that metal before. It's the same as Noah's sword, right? Yeah. Looks like it. Also, it's same as metal that go inside fancy eye patches of lost numbers. Friends know eye patches block Mobius tracking, surely? Yeah, we heard that from Monica. That because eye patch emits special wavelengths. This here shows sources of such waves. Points of light on map indicate where metal can be located. But Samon could not visit. Every place is fearsome scary. Can't you just use the metal from the eye patches? Those important equipment for lost numbers, so no can do. And even if could, metal is stretched into thin foil, making total amount not sufficient. That's a shame. Mio, look over here. Yeah, the Cloud Keep. It's that thing that the Queen had. Mr. Salmon, so if we got you six more, you could complete the ship? Naturally. With that can make ship with power and defense that weather any storm or hole in sea. How long would it take to build? We'll give it three days, tops. Wow, that's real snappy. Good, as time is of the essence. All right, let's crack on. Yeah. Mr. Salmon, don't you worry. We'll get you your parts. Meh. Why are you here again? What? Huh? Oh. Hey? Uh. 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 <clears throat> the Gears of Origin. 
What fate that they would be the ones to guide you? Ouroboros and the Sword of the End have. They brought us this far, so I wouldn't be surprised. I understand. Well, in that case, I will gladly concede it. You knew we'd be coming back, though, right? It was all a part of your grand design, yeah? The future must be sculpted with one's own hands. Something like that? Right, certainly. The future isn't something you can just be given. You do have to reach for it with your own hands, yes. Well, that's the first. Five left to go. A promising start. Yeah, could be worse. Keep going like this, and job done. Thank you, Majesty. I promise you, we won't waste this gift. Wait a moment. How will you access Origin, even with the ship? I mean... We're gonna plunge into the Great Sea's Vortex. And after that? Origin is protected on every side by thick armor plating. You think you'll find a berth? I guess, uh, maybe? For starters, we don't even know Origin's general schematic. We're going in blind. <sighs> Take this. What? What's this? Is this... Origin? A certain Nopon engineer was involved on the Agnian side of Origin's construction. That's an early blueprint left behind from those days. The Great Sea's vortex is likely born from the force field emitted by this middle part, amplified by the structure built up around the circumference. That would be my best guess, anyway. As for the original purpose of the structure, it was a device to deploy a field to protect the facility while it generated an omni-static space. Consequently, this middle section here, it lacks the armored shell, making it Origin's only weak point. So then, basically, this is our entrance. Enter the vortex, and then using its flow, break through to the inside. Once you are within, destroy the force field generator at the center. That's the trick. Yes, I see. However, the internal structure of Origin may well have been heavily modified by Zed. Even after you make it in, you must be on your guard. Understood. We'll be fully prepared. Huh. You gotta hand it to the Queen, though. How could anyone know all that? Shocking, I know. Absolutely. I simply cannot believe this. Come on, you lot. Make your minds up already, will you? By the way, after you met up with M, you were sleeping here all this time, right? Yes. So then, how did you know we'd become Ouroboros? You seemed to know what had happened at the castle as well. Even as I sleep, I learn. Information on everything in this world collects right here. Thank you so much for all this. I promise you, we will seize the future.
Congratulations. You're special. Precious few make it all the way to their homecoming. But this won't do at all. Your lives shine all the brighter if they are extinguished right here on the battlefield. Hmm? What's the meaning of this, Commander Chris? I bid you sheathe your blade, my Lord Consul. Come again? You want to take his shine for yourself? I am simply stating there's no need. Why kill him now? Mm -hmm. His time is at an end. How brightly he shone. He himself knows better than anyone. Your actions will not make him brighter. I'm sure. Mutiny! Why not just let it go, V? M, why are you here? When their appointed hour arrives, should we not grant them an appropriate departure? Don't be a fool! Then their life will be lost from circulation, will it not? Oh. Zed also wishes it so. Zed does? I refuse to believe it. Very well. Do as you see fit, then. If I may, let me send him on. That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Formless dead. Will you respond to the Queen's awakening? The Sword of the End. Of all the vestiges of origin strewn through the world, who knew this fragment yet remained? It is no longer one with the flow. We have no means of controlling it. Will you go, then? 
No. There's no need, is there? He will come to me. I know it. To share with me his feelings. Is it here? It's not inside the castle. Okay. So that puts it at... Garden, garden defense, defense space. space! Garden what now? It's a guard outpost at the castle rear. They bring new recruits there too, for basic training. Well, phew. You had me worried there for a second. Thought we'd be back in the Antal's jaws. Even so, it's an enemy base. We can't expect to just waltz in without a fight. First, let's just try to scope it out. So it's beyond this bridge? Yeah. No chance from the front. Not like this. <sighs> we can go across those islands. That way, we should be able to swing round the back. Then... It's in and out, fast as we can. Yeah. We go in, we get the shard, and we hightail it out there. Right. I can't see another way. Let's do it. Chris, you were a week away from your homecoming. Why? <sighs> Noah, you okay? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm? Strange. Now of all times. This is unsettling. Not a single person anywhere in sight. What's going on? Is this because we busted up the Annihilator? No, I very much doubt it. We didn't do any direct damage to the castle itself. Maybe it's because of the Machini Queenie? Even so, we didn't actually free the soldiers here, right? And yet no one's here. Huh? The shard's changing position. Hey, Noah, look at this. Noah? It's a song. What song? You're right. It's a Cavessi one. The melody. Yeah, and it's not just any melody. I know who's playing. Chris. Wait, Chris? Wasn't that the guy who was Noah's off-seeing instructor? Yeah. Huh? But Chris is... Yeah. He died four years ago. Does that mean he's been reborn, like Ethel? No. I don't think that's it. What then? Like Mobius? There are two types of Mobius. The kind like Zed and X, who were Mobius from the beginning, and humans who became Mobius, like N, M, and Yorin. <laughs> so... Is this like a trap? Probably. 
But the origin metal readout is real. It's definitely here. In we go? Yeah. In we go. What? Into the jewels? They're clearly aware that we're coming. But there's no one around. He's waiting. For me. Good to see you again, Noah. I knew it. Chris. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see that you're still an Offseer. Chris! Come out! Reveal yourself! I'm waiting in the throne room. Take your time. I want you to come up here. Then I want you to play that special melody. Chris! I'll be waiting. I first met Chris on the day of a homecoming. I remember. A short time later, I put in to become an Offseer. And then, we met again. The name's Noah, right? I'm Chris. Starting today, I'll be your personal tutor, all right? Let's begin. Hey, Chris, tell me something. Back then, on that day, why did you look so sad? Which day? The day of homecoming, in Colony 14. Ah, I see. So that's how I look to you then. The others looked so happy. And the soldier, he was so pleased about it. But not you. I think... He probably felt content. Content? He had lived through it all, fought hard, and in serving his colony, he found purpose. I find it's quite a tragic thing. But why? I mean, it was time for him to return home. What do you think that entails? Huh? Reaching your life's expiry date. Surviving through so many battles. Well, I... Do you honestly believe he was happy to disappear for such trivial reasons? That his smile belied no doubt? To me, he looked ready to cry. Huh. Being unable to choose his end. Merely accepting what comes next. Chris. There's no joy in a contrived death, Noah. Contrived death, huh? At this point, I get him. Kind of, at least. On that day, he shook my belief. Was I really content? Content with the path I'd chosen to follow. <sighs> and then he chose for himself. His end would be by his desire. I need to know. What was he thinking back then? And why now? Why has he appeared before me?
Chris. Ouroboros. You dare to appear before me once again. Do you not value your lives? Such idiocy. You should never have shown your faces here again. But you leave me no choice. For sullying this consecrated ground, I will see to it that justice is served. What a terrible din. <gasps> Only an imitation. Its empty words could never ring true. Let me hear it, Noah. I want a true melody. Why, Chris? Why become Mobius? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? So I could see you again, Noah. But why? Your sworn mission is to change this world, is it not? Yes. And is that because you're unhappy with the way it is? It's wrong, and we have to correct it. That is all. I see. So relentless desire is what drives you. Desire? You fight for betterment, for ever greater aspirations. And what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. It's human nature, after all. But you still don't understand. There's something you must learn. What's that? To be content with one's lot. What do you mean? Don't you see? Only the strong can ever hope to reach the fabled horizon that you seek. Your words must be backed up by strength in equal measure. Winner's logic. But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lowly worm feels? Then, what would you have become of the weak? Would you abandon them? You would refute their everything? End their story there? Mobius are the ones doing that. Noah. What you're trying to achieve here amounts to the same thing. You really think freeing Origin will revive the world and solve all of our problems? You must surely have heard from the Queen of Agnes the truth of this world. So what then? You're saying the Queen's lying? No, surely not. Then what? But there is no guarantee. If, if the Queen is wrong and the world is not created anew, what happens then? Huh? What if this is some flight of fancy? What if you've been taken in, staking your lives on a whim? Who's accountable? I ask you that. Um, well, I... I think it's still the right thing to do. Oh? It was your smile. Chris? I get it now. I know why you were smiling back then. I'm good here. I get what you meant now. You asked me once if I would keep moving. And my answer... Tell me, Noah. I will. To the end so that I can treasure those final moments. Final? When that hour is upon me, I want to look back and smile. Then I'll be good. And to come out smiling, we all have to choose where our lives take us. For our future selves. And yet, lack of choice is enough to break a person. They struggle, suffer, clawing their way through endless fog. A world without choice, that's wrong. If death is a lie in this world, it deserves to end. So you'd rather perish along with the world? I just 
I just want to cut this world free from Mobius. Whatever the consequences. Yeah. Otherwise, the Queen would never have told us the things she did. We take everything as it comes, and we're afforded so little. Still, no matter how slim a chance we might have, it's a chance. So if that's an option we can take, then I'll take it. Noah, your melody, I hear it loud and clear. Now show it to me, your conviction and your smile. It's a beautiful song, Noah. <laughs> Noah, the one who made me Mobius, was said. <gasps> and it wasn't just me. J2 and N and M. All of us were human once. And Zed changed our very being. Why? Why would he do that to you? For that, you'd be best off asking Zed himself. But listen, Noah. I think in the end, I was happy to have become Mobius. How could I not be, after hearing such a wonderful song? Chris, Mobius are an entity bound by the confines of this world. Strong? yet somehow fragile, and in their fragility, they crave only the now, fearing to tread even a single step towards the future. I chose the path of the Offseer because I had a thought. The sender and the ones being sent, I wanted to learn exactly what it was that connected them. Though we may be forgotten, our feelings live on. It is through our melodies that we carry them on. I think I once told you something to that effect. Yeah. There's a place doing just that. The city. The city is? The many lives born of the city. Lives whose existence was never recorded in origin. They are our future. They themselves are proof of the coming winds of change. I think I see. They are... our hope. Just as you once were. They too are the product of Ouroboros' will. And that is something that can never die. Chris. You knew everything all along. <sighs> Noah, one last thing.
Aren't you gonna? You really do play the most beautiful tune. Go now, Noah. Sing your song for all to hear. Noah. Huh? So those things Chris said, what was that all about? Finding value. What now? Chris, when he played his Offseer song, he conveyed his wish to me. His wish that I would come to find value in all things. He entrusted it all to you, Noah. Ergo, the rest is history. Yeah, but it's so. Sad, isn't it? I'm going, for sure. His wishes won't be in vain as we march on Origin. Do you truly want it thus, O oh ye voices? Then let me enunciate, emphatically so, the rules to which this world adheres, for the benefit of us all. Finally, Origin. Mobius are an entity bound by the confines of this world. Strong, yet somehow fragile. Mobius? What even are they? Harvesting our lives to cling to life. Even stopping time. Mio, allowing for limiting conditions, we are reborn after we have died. A Mobius as well. Mobius, uh, they can't be brought back once they die. Why is that? I'm not sure myself. Although each of them is fundamentally aware of this, that's why they're afraid of death. They're scared, huh? I guess Yoren knew too. And he still killed himself. And now. He's really gone. Still, he left us a parting gift. Yeah. The smile on his face. I'll never forget it. Not until my dying breath. Hmm. What lies beyond death that Mobius fear it so? What the Queen said about the key that we hold. That smile might be it. Because he broke free of Zed's control. The power of hope, if we're being trite. Power to create future? Big props from Anana. Any way you slice it, it's not about looking backwards. More like the opposite. There's no need to rack brains about. Riku think it fine to just be true to self. 
Riku makes a good point. Wanting to do what we want, to be how we want to be. That's how we should carry on. In that case, I'll continue down the road of the future that was meant to be. If I were given the chance, if this road I've walked were to keep on going, I'd like to spend that time with my Noah. Forever isn't it. We here, middle of Great Sea. Noah, please to activate cloaking device. Roger. Cloaking activated. No issues yet. Are we sure this is really gonna work? They're not gonna, like, open fire when we get too close? Maybe I shouldn't be here, if it ends up working to our disadvantage. We cross bridge when we get to. Uh, anyhow, we small targets, so we'll take every bullet. Riku, you don't seem to be taking this seriously. If worst comes to worst, we'll try to draw the heat for you. <laughs> That'll take the wind out of their sails. Okay. Hey, uh, what's a sail again? We've made it this far. Just quit worrying. Go with the flow, yeah? Spark's sake. Talk about carefree. It's go time. Full power to engine. There'll be a little drop, so make sure to hold on tight. Wait, what drop? <laughs> so you've come. Ouroboros. What is that? 
I sense Mobius. Lots of them beyond the vortex. It must be Origin. So that shadow, that's what we're after. It's sparking ginormous. Easily ten times the size of a castle. The place where everything began. Origin. The Kavesti Queen is there. Not to mention... Why even resist? When you could simply resign yourself to the flow. The Endless Now is out of change. Any resistors will be pacified and return to a perpetual cycle. Mobius mudders. What are they thinking? They're even shooting at colonies that haven't been freed. Taking pot shots now? They're still their allies. If they lost the plot. You alive? Monica! Just barely. They dropped one of our ships. How are you? We're holding out here. Bastards. I can't believe they're firing at their own. I thought we were the only ones they wanted gone. Yeah. If this keeps up, they're as good as race the entire world. They're all about life, aren't they? As long as they have origin, they can keep on making more of us. For them, this might just count as charging up. Reveling in the final glimmers of our lives. They want us to flicker out. When the last light fades, they're planning on starting over. In a world without us. <sighs> That's all kinds of messed up. Please don't look there! Suicide! Turn around! Such drama. So much unavoidable tragedy. In order to preserve the endless now. Fear not, you need not grieve. Lives come back around. In due time, you will all be reborn once again. Ensuring our deaths, yes. Or maybe they're not even conscious of the whole notion of killing. How so? It's like a natural instinct. To them, it's as basic as breathing. 
Nice theory, kid. But don't make excuses for him. Of course. <laughs> all right, then. Gondor! Guess it's time to pull out all the stops. We'll play the decoy for you. You guys gun it, yeah? Go and clear us out a path. A path to give this world a future. Gondor. We got it. If we're gonna get to the Vortex, we'll need your help. Riku, pass me the controls. Aye, aye. How's the engine doing? Spick and span. Admittedly, we lose some instruments to attack just now. But the engine proper is raring to go. All right. Let's punch clear through. Hold on to something. It's gonna be a rough ride. to Vortex Rim, 340. Powering shields to max. Noah, when punched through, open throttle to fall. We climb up flow in one big swell. Roger that! Over there! The center! Riku! Deploy the ram! Riku on it! We've got a clear shot! Here goes! Origin. Almost like a Pharonis, huh? The original Pharonis. This one's the first. Not just first. I think all Pharonises derive from this one right here. So this is what it's like on the inside. It's all just machines and more machines. I also see trace amounts of the black fog. Hey, this metal, it's like Noah's sword. You're right, it is the same. 
Mio, you know what's in here? Sorry, no. Whenever we teleported, it was always to a large, dim room. I think that was Zed's doing. To keep the location secret. Well... Guess we're searching the old-fashioned way, then. What about the other Mobius? Anything? About that... It's odd. It's like they're right here beside me. But also far away. I feel like I'm surrounded by them on all sides. Well, this is the enemy base and all. Kinda makes sense. Or maybe... Huh? This whole place. Floor, walls and ceiling. Everything here could be Mobius. <sighs> <sighs> Is it them? No. The transmission pattern's different. This feeling... It's like it's calling to us. You think it's... the Kvesi Queen? Maybe. Where then? Can you tell? Below. Do we go, Noah? Yeah, let's go. It's all been leading to this. What the spark were those things? They fall apart the moment we take them down. The black fog is gone too. They're not mechanical, but neither are they biological. Something wrong, Mia. As they fell, I could feel it. Very slightly. A vague whiff of Mobius coming off them. Those things? What's that mean? I'm not sure. Mio, didn't you say before all this could be Mobius? Yeah. Are you trying to say those things might be Mobius as well? But they don't even look human. I think the shape might not matter so much. Huh? I think I'm starting to get the picture. I feel like I know what Mobius is. <sighs> you who wield the sword of the end. The Endless now is under threat of being cut short. Could you do it, I wonder? Could you slay the ones who advance relentlessly toward despair? You do, after all, desire eternity above all others. Now, take it in your hand. For the Endless now for that which you so desire. Over there! Man, that's our queen. Melia. That's vile! How could they do this to her? With all we've seen of Mobius, I put nothing past them. We have to release her. Yeah. Took you long enough. 
I know that voice. It's N. <sighs> you look unwell. Like me. When you had us locked up. Got my just desserts. Well, don't you look smug with my woman on your arm, Noah. Does this face really look smug to you? What else would you call it, huh? N. Poor Claude. You don't understand anything. You cannot have the queen. She is the fulcrum of origin itself. By my very existence, I will keep her from you. Well, that's not gonna happen. Our schedule's tight enough as is. And also, this is our queen you're talking about. So get ready for a right royal thrashing. You're effectively a part of Noah himself. We'd really rather not hurt you. But we will if we have to. Because if you get in our way, then Mobius or not, we're throwing out all the stops and then some! <sighs> Don't fool yourselves. Willpower alone won't change the world. We'll prove you wrong. You'll see. Watch. You cannot hope to win. Not while I stand here. At the brink of the void. Void. Hmm? That's just... your grief. What? It's called sadness, and <sighs> We came here for you. To honor M's wishes. And to rescue you from your sorrow. Rescue me? What meaning does that tripe hold for me? Now that all is past, why should it matter? If you don't know, then let me teach you. I'll drag you with me. Deep into the void, to the depths of despair! I'll ask again. Why did you do it? Tell me! How could you murder the city's people? Just think! They were the lives of your own kin! My own kin? You're wrong. They were nothing but mere chaff. What? They were superfluous for us Mobius living in the now. Furthermore, all those lives wouldn't have existed without me. As their original creator, I held dominion over their lives and deaths. Listen to yourself. Tell me, what about M then? What about the love Mio had for them? Mio, 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 Mio! You're the one who couldn't protect her. In the end, you were powerless. And now she's gone. How could you? Answer me! You really don't know. Don't you understand anything? I don't get it. Why, N? Why do you keep punishing yourself like this? <laughs> you took the wrong path. And then you had to walk it alone. You just messed up. You messed up royally. Regret owns you. What do you know? If only I'd made the right choice. If what happened hadn't. Clinging to the past obsessively. You just had to keep walking that path. What you've become is regret itself. Really? And what does that make you then? I am 
all of us. We're hope. They're hope, he says. Ha <laughs> ha! What lofty heights of arrogance. Like some self-proclaimed savior. Not at all. They're the words of the one you held most dear. <sighs> That's her. Inside there. She felt regret. Just like you did. And yet, she had hopes for the future. That's why she left everything to Mio. This hope of yours. How can there be anything like it? In this world, there is nothing but the void. Peer now into it and watch your precious hope crumble to nothing! I'm trying to tell you! That's just the sadness speaking through you! to be with you forever. Those words back then were the truth. It's what she really wished for. Yes, that's right. I wasn't... I wasn't mistaken. When I tried to give her eternity, that was the correct choice. And you ruined it! Because you've changed! <gasps> you still don't understand. You were together so long. How can you not get it? She wanted you to go back. Back to the name Noah. She wanted you to call her by the name Mio. Why? Why are you the ones who get to stand there together in this world, edge to bleeding edge filled with sorrow? Perhaps we just got lucky. Got lucky? Trace it to chance encounters. I've met so many people. Lance, Uni, Tyon, Senna, Riku and Manana. My friends have been invaluable. And of course, I met Mio too. There's a very small difference between you and me. If I had been in your shoes, I'm sure I would have chosen the same. You would, would you? Yeah. But not anymore. Mio and my friends. And not just them. But the other Mio. And the other me. Every person I have met has shaped me and changed who I am. Thanks to them, I can choose the future. Even if you do succeed at returning the world to its original form, there's no guarantee you'll live long enough to enjoy it. What about that? Do you still intend to persist regardless? Yeah, we will. We'll fight our way out of these ten years. That's all. Anne, you were just like us once. An Ouroboros, fighting for the future. But one day, you gave up on it. And made the choice to protect the now. But you know, that's okay too. To protect and to endure. There's shapes a wish can take. <laughs> and I, I, I knew, knew exactly, exactly what, what that, that meant. meant. Mio. Won't you come with us? You could try. 
to move forwards again. After so long, it's what you both wanted, right? Well then, easy choice. <laughs> What in the... He vanished. What exactly does this mean? Noah? Is he dead or what? No. He's fine. Fine in what sense? For now, let's do what we came for. dream. A very, very long dream. In my dream, youths were fighting. And as many times as they fell, they always got back up again. A dream of young people simply trying to survive. Majesty. Noah, correct? I have been watching you, all this time, through the eyes of my simulacrum. Well done making it here. The Queen of Agnes is already free. Now you are too. And now, that leaves only him. You mean... Zed? Yes. About Zed. He is not a person, but a concept. Concept? Everyone can feel uncertain. Frightened. These feelings coagulated, and then given a human form, or Zed. Unlike those people who are granted a Mobius body, he is a true Mobius. Sounds ominous. So he's not even an individual? He is, and he isn't. There is some Mobius within you too. But... Perhaps you've realized that. Your Ionios lies in frozen time. Born from the Mobius wish that chose the Endless Now. So then, both us and the world, everything that exists, it's all false. Everything that exists is reality. Present lives. And future ones. Mobius aside, the wills of countless people persist inside of origin. The Sword of the End you carry, and Ouroboros, they take their shape from these thoughts. Protect the now, or carve a path to the future, the wielder decides. The future is undeniable, but you must realize your own. I've seen what you've done. 
You can do this too. Very well. There remains but one more thing I have to say to you. Noah. <sighs> Mio. Lance. <sighs> Senna. Tyon. <sighs> Uni. <sighs> this world is yours. Further below this point lies the nucleus of origin. You will find Zed there. I shall return to the castle and free the soldiers from the Flame Clock's bondage. Otherwise, their lives will only feed Zed's power. Nice thinking, Your Majesty. Counting on you. Oh, uh, will you need an escort? I would think not. Might you have forgotten who I am? Alright, this will be the last battle. We're all gonna make it through this. I promise. Yeah, this new world sounds like a blast. There's no way we can lose. We're strong now. Just look how far we've come together. The world is in our hands. Right. Let's grab it and hold tight. told me I'd live to see it, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> the time has come for the city to mobilize! Kevis, Agnes, support them all! Gilgamesh, deploy! on origin. Back us up. Mother dear. Michael wasn't going to do that anyway. Our main goal is ultimately defense. Only destroy weapons on the outer rim. Noah and the others are heading for the core. Leave the middle intact. Screw that up. And we can't restore the world, right? Roger will come! There's no end to him! Well, we are in the ringer here. 
I had accounted for this, but these numbers... I know, but it's the only way. Right. The call shouldn't be too far now. Come on, hang in there! Oh good. Looks like we managed not to hit you. Monica! We've been trying to aim for the highest energy signatures. Score one for us. Good call! You know, I got curious and wanted to see the face of our real enemy with my own eyes. So, here I am. I thought I'd drop by, since the attacks wouldn't let up. And what do I see but you dags having a picnic? Gondor! The Queen? We got her out safely. It's just us and Zed, our real enemy, finally. Right on. Then you won't mind a little company. What are you coming for? What for? Well, you know, the head honcho's bigging it up in there, ain't he? I got curious. Gotta see the big bad with my own eyes, right? <laughs> huh? You want to clue me in on the joke? Sorry. Deja vu. Or something like that. Huh? Thank you. Thanks to you. Now I can say definitively, there are things in this world... ...we must protect. Come on now, you lot! It's time for Colony 4 to show off his fangs! So what are you loafing around for? Get your asses in gear! S -s oh, sorry, boss. It's just the, the engine's conked out and won't start. Well, then kick the mud until it does! You gotta be firm! Really give it some elbow grease here! Sir, that's insane! This is a delicate instrument! Delicate? My ass! Whack it! Smack it! Show me who's sparking, boss! I'm telling you, you can't just kick it and... Well, looky here, guess I'm the boss! Is this a joke? All right! Now we can come out swinging! Who's with me?! Yeah! We owe our lives to them. Now's the time to show them how we shine. Come on, full throttle. Can't let the other colonies steal our thunder now. Are we? Zed. We found him. At last. How many times is it now that I and you have confronted each other here like this? 
Yes. You're welcome to come on up. How many incarnations? How many ascents into the spotlight? And once again, I shall endeavor to ask this of you. Tell me. Why not resign yourself to the flow? It's unfortunate. Sounds like my memory isn't all that. You have come to stop the flow, have you not? This march of time, stilled for eternity. You intend to stop it by removing me. So is it flowing, or is it stopped? You're not making any sense, mate. Basically, if we can take you down, the world kicks up again. At least... That's what I'm picking up from all that. Human desires can be much likened to a river flowing. All humanity yearns for it, the endless now. That is why I'm here, you'll find. My existence alone, it is proof and evidence. Cut the crap! Who in the world would possibly wish for this? I refuse to be controlled by you! Although... Thanks to the stunts you pulled, we managed to twig onto a whole lot of stuff. We learned how best to use the time we have. And for that, you get a real good thanking. You said it. Though ten years is a mere glimpse, we now know the importance of true choice. We'll build it for ourselves. A world with the freedom to choose. Not a hollow world of fiction like this one. Everyone wants a reality that they can believe in. Freedom is nothing more than fiction, a deception. Those with power, those who can choose, think nothing of it. What then of those who cannot choose? What about the meek and frail? Not everyone is granted as many options as you all have. Will you share? Give them some of yours? Will you call that charity? or compassion. Will you show it? Imagining them who are granted it to be thus satisfied? Imagining not a piece of wretchedness to remain? Making the best possible choices under duress. Living the best life. There are no losers in the world I offer. With a turn of the clock, anyone can be a winner given the time. The only thing we ever do is take lives! There is no winning! You can't just invent some rule! Why do you recoil from taking lives? The world itself has set this rule. Why resist? It is through consumption of life that this world persists. Denying it is self-delusion. The only outcome? Self-destruction. It is unequivocal fact. The imperative that is intrinsic to all living things. The source of our power, and of all living things, lies therein. Young, spirited people, trading lives, aiming for new, ever loftier heights with each new day. That explosive motive power is something we lack. The essence of life. And we are here to express ourselves as an embodiment of life. So that's it. That's what you're getting at. But just for that, you gave those two an impossible choice! Is that why you made Joran and Chris into Mobius? Of course. As for the why... It's because it amuses me.
the action-packed drama of your lives. We are its foremost audience. Now then, play it out for me. What will the next act entail? Bereavement or revenge? A revolution, perchance? This world is never boring. Not while your lives continue to make it so effervescent. I'll end him. I just got it. Huh? Fighting in order to live. The words me Abby left me with. Now. This is exactly when they were four. Yeah, Mio's got it right. At first it was all fun and games. When we got Ouroboros powers, we were just like, happy to get to live a little longer. That was it. But now, things are different. We learned that for many, there aren't any choices on the table at all. Because they were taken from them by a bunch of crusty old mutters. The strength you talk about is all just smoke and mirrors. Real strength is different. That's right. Knowing when to be close and when to let go. Walking together. Eventually choosing who you really are. That is strength. And that's the real battle here. To find that answer. The will to choose our actions moment to moment. And if you dare denounce that common right, we will defy you to live in a future over which you lay no claim! This is all a sham! That's true form, or origins. Why do this? Huh? If you restart origin, time in perpetuity will flow once more. The opposing world will overlap. What lies beyond is oblivion. You ought to be aware of this. toward the future. Why? Why? <laughs> Let me turn it around for you. How can you be so sure? There should be a future where it doesn't happen. No such thing exists. The present is all. The present is all we need. That is our unyielding wish.
Hear me, my loyal subjects. Starting imminently, we shall commence a full attack on Origin. The battle is not a fabrication. It is a fight to seize control of our lives. I need you now. Entrust your lives to your rightful queen, Melia Antiqua. Right now, inside Origin, there are people fighting against all odds to create a future for us all. Those brave ones, they want to teach us the true meaning of life. For the future they dare to forge, let us join the path that they showed us. Let us join the fight. Look at all those colonies, fighting as one. Now that is a sight. If we can just come out on top today. Commander, we'll do it. We'll build it for you. A new world for every one of us. It has been a while, Nia. Queen of Agnes. 
I am in your debt. Across the centuries. Nonsense. Don't mention it. I simply did what needed doing. And entrusted the rest to the right people. I see that you're still... ...affecting that elocution. Oh my, it befits me not. Do not hide your stripes. <laughs> All right. Then let's thrash those goons, Melia. Gladly. Together. The will of young people weaving a future. That is, the indispensable force that drives worlds forward. I know just how scary taking the first step can be. And yet, it was young folks like that that set whole worlds in motion, overcoming their own fears. In the hope that the future will birth more such people. Now I get it. The true source of power from which Mobius stems. And why they so desperately seek the Endless now. Yes, I think I see it too. What the Queen said. There is some Mobius within us as well. Yeah, and it's our own selves. We're scared of ourselves and we lose track. We cut off our own way to the future. The possibilities. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. To believe in the path we've walked this far and in the future that lies ahead. Why? I want to move on. We'll claim the future and shape it ourselves. And when you cannot choose, what then? In that desperate moment, we'll all be there to soothe you. The self is all that exists. As such, the only cure for despair is total oblivion. That is the face of the world. 
I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. This one world, I love it. Origin. No, the cries of Mobius. But the sheer ferocity of it. Noah. Mio. So he didn't disappear back then? Mm-mm. They were inside, with us. Think about it. They're still really the same people. We were conceived from regret. Sorry. Unlike you, who sprung forth from hope, regret is our be-all and end-all. If only we'd made the right choice. If only things had been different. Blindly, we never try to change ourselves, wishing only that the world would instead. We clung to the egotistical dream of being together forever. But that's only natural! Anyone would wish for that. Nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you. But now, our prolonged existence here, it only serves to strengthen those within this frozen moment in time who would keep it thus. So you see, we have but one choice here. What you see over there is not Zed or Mobius, but a single, intense desire. Your thoughts, they can never affect a desire. But we, we who embody that very same desire... You can just stay here! Please, stay! Walk this world with us! We can walk it together! Noah's right! You've done enough! You don't have to do this! You could finally be here together! Such kindness. Your eyes, they brim with it. I ask myself, were our eyes the same on that day? And... No. Mia. Though we came from different worlds, we were able to leave a life behind. It was our hope for the future. Our hearts and our dreams intertwined. And we were given the chance to weave new life. And therefore, it's all good. Believe in yourselves. All of you will certainly reach heights that we were unable to. You guys can surely make it. You can take our place in the future.
Zed and the other Mobius. They wanted to protect the world too. That's why they created one they could control. I see where they were coming from. That's something that we feel almost every day. Having to change. To continue to change. That's sparking scary. But we can say this. Even if we are reborn later, right then, what we think and feel that moment is real. To sacrifice that is never the right way. If you can't be true to yourself, then you're doing something wrong. Are you content with your decision? Uh. Very soon, the stilled flow of time will restart. You can change your mind if you act now. Ah. Uh -uh. You did not just tell us to become Mobius. Yeah, can you even imagine? Uh, Noah? Why are you wavering, Noah? Some want to go on, and some want to stay. In this world, there are so many mingled desires. But do we? Does anyone have the right to choose? Oh, don't you start minding us now. Just having the chance to be born in that world you make, that'll be plenty. So, you know, you just gotta do it your way. Gondor. Eh, uh, though if I can, I might want a better name, eh? Noah, all of us here want the same thing. It's how the future should be. Yeah. You're right. The future is right there. Believe in the actions you've taken, in your friends, and above all, you should believe in yourselves. Well then, the answer's simple. Come on! Ain't got all day! Yeah. I know. Right with you.
I realized there's something I haven't said yet. Oh, yeah? I haven't thanked you. What's this now? Thank you for sticking with me. Without you by my side, I'd never have made it here. Oh, come on. You had to say that? I'm serious here. I know you are. Huh? Listen, Noah, I feel just the same. Without you, I think my wishes would never have come true. I see. I guess so. Hmm. So I'll say it too. Thank you, Noah. Truly. We weren't half bad as a team, were we? Yeah, uh, passable, for sure. Just passable? I'm sure you meant unsurpassable, right? <laughs> oh, I think I'll let you decide the passing grade, Lancy. Ah, come on, weirdo. Guess... we won't be working out together anymore. Yeah. I'm not keeping tabs, but don't you slack off. I am not gonna slack off! I'll train every day, thinking of you. Yeah. Same here. Here. What's this? A herbal tea recipe. If you have to dry your own leaves, you should manage. Isn't this kind of... pointless? Pointless? I mean, if the worlds are gonna drift apart again, this paper won't last. <laughs> hmm? I considered that, of course. The paper and the ink, it all comes from your world. And the leaves for the tea? Even those and all? What do you think? <laughs> we'll check you out. But who am I if not scrupulous? Who? Well, you're my best bud. Fourth best, to be exact. Only fourth? Huh. Wait a minute. There's Noah and Lance. And did she count Joran? Oh, why am I only listing guys? J just chill out, Tyon. Um, uh... What's up? Is there a problem? Well, uh, at least put me second or even third. Fourth seems a little harsh. <laughs> I'll think about it. Riku! Manana! As time goes by, it is time. Goodbye. Yeah. Still, even if we're worlds apart, I swear I won't. I won't let go. Not ever. I'll always be with you. Our feelings forever interlinked. Wherever we are. Yeah. Wherever we are. Our worlds in their current states are still young. If in passing, they do themselves harm. I suppose even then they cannot but carry on. Still, I have faith. Even if now we become separated for a time, one day we'll surely get to walk hand in hand again. Everyone, thank you. I will see you soon then.
one day, I'll come see you. I promise. Me too. One day, I promise. This is the truth of our world. Memories melt in the morning light, and then a new day begins. Roads stretch out before us. So many paths. Which do you choose? That's up to you. Sometimes you might run astray. You'll stop, maybe cry in frustration. But you know, that's all right. For the roads, they go on without end. So look up, face forward, toward your chosen horizon, and just walk on.
Oh. Noah! What are you doing, man? They'll start the fireworks without us. Get a move on already, or all the good spots will be taken. Exactly, so come on, move it. Sorry, I zoned out for a sec. I'm coming. <laughs> 